Should we ready to do this? All right. Man, this is live as hell. Are we ready to go? All right, guys. We're gonna be good. This is one of our new shows for Twitch Network. Yes. Uh, they're working on this. We have uh, again two of our is nerd. Yes, no, nerd is fine. They're, They're nerds. nerds. They're, They're going nerds. there. They run this thing. It's called, I don't know, they explain this thing They've to me about the, tears the internet. Now, I just want to warn everyone, there will be a clown. So if you have like an, you know, an insane fear. Grow up. And if you're a posse of some sort, <laughs> then also, yes. figure it out. All right, go, there's go, a war in go Ukraine. Grow up. Go All figure right. it out. So you're going to go or go and check it out. Tears of a Clown coming up right now with Woo. Holden McNeely, Woo. Jake Young, and with special guests. Benjamin ben Kissel. Kissel. And Tears of the Clown, don't you forget. Ah! Go and get him. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Welcome to Tears of a Clown, the tier list uh, uh, segment of the stream, hosted by Wizard of the Bruiser with Ben Kissel. Thank you for joining Whoa, us, Kissel. Thanks for having me. I feel like I'm in French fry heaven. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I bet you, yeah, you I've kept, always wanted to be stuck in a deep fryer with some <laughs> hot French fries. Kissel kept turning around trying to eat the fries nah, and getting nah, really nah, sad. Because nah, 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 nah. there's just green behind him in reality. Yo, thanks everybody for joining. Uh, Jake. Don't and, ruin the illusion, Holden. <laughs> People think there's a bunch there's a of French fries behind us. Can you imagine the reek in this fucking studio the if reek. that were going on? It would be in potato like joy. Also, if this it really was French fry heaven, those would be waffle cut. And I don't care what anyone says otherwise. <laughs> well, that's uh, completely and uh, utterly insane. But it would just smell like a fast food restaurant. You know, yes. If those, if those were real French fries. And that's what a, we're here uh, to discuss. We're here to discuss yes. fast food restaurants. Jake, and you know, I worked at seven fast food restaurants. Which ones do you work at? Wendy's, Pizza Hut, Burger King, Arby's, Saberos, um, Taco Bell, and... Wow. Oh, there was one so more in there. I'm blanking on the other one. So that's six I can officially confirm. Long that's fucking silver. crazy. That's I didn't know you worked at seven fast food restaurants. Yeah, because you work for a month after you got to pay off the ticket that you got that summer, and then you pay <laughs> off the ticket, and then you quit. All right, I'll tell you what. We got to also tier list rank the jobs. Yes. <laughs> that what, was the, or what was the best fast food restaurant you worked at? What was the S tier fast food restaurant? S tier, without a doubt, was. Well, Wendy's uses day old meat for their chili, so that's kind of disgusting. <laughs> Arby's meat comes liquefied. We're going to get such a better Pizza perspective on, the, yeah, on wow. this tier yeah. list. Pizza Hut, I got fired because I was stuffing in two of the Mott sticks when making the Pizza Hut stuffed crust pizza because I was a proper person trying to love the customer. Taco Bell also put too much sour cream, got fired. Um, so I would say, to be honest with you- They already put in so much sour cream. How is there too much? Well, I was 16 and I had a different, uh, d different idea. And uh, so I would say, honestly, Oh man, they're all so freaking disgusting. I got fired from Burger King, as you know, for yes. impregnating a, t a chicken tender with right. ketchup and barbecue sauce. Right. <laughs> man, honestly, they're all horribly disgusting. <laughs> so they're all D tier, is what you're saying. But they're fun. Um, so, Jay, can you explain the basic scenario of what we're doing here? Most people, I think, understand the concept of tier lists. It's the internet and Twitch. But we're creating a tier list today for fast food restaurants. That's right, Holden. Uh, we have created a list of the most popular fast food restaurants in the country of America, the home of fast food, and okay. we are going to rank them from, uh, it's S to D, I believe. Yes, S to D, suck the okay. D, it's gonna go, D is at the very bottom, S, of course, at the very top. And I really gotta stress this enough, S is the upper echelon, yes. S is the true cream of the crop, pretty good, that's a B, really yeah. good is an A, S is sacred. Oh, Yeah, it's a bless. mnemonic, it's a mnemonic device. Okay. And uh, also, obviously, if things are going to get contentious. These are very personal opinions between three exceptionally broad men. So uh, to help us really like yep. make things interesting, we're going to be asking you, the Twitch chat, in polls to help us make decisions, as well as vetoes. Uh, that each of us can use to just like be like, no, we only get this. one veto. Also, don't forget the veto, a sandwich from Jimmy John's. Oh, all right, please, Ben, please. That's true. Oh, Jimmy John's. That was the other restaurant oh, I worked at. Nice. There you go. That, that was the one I worked with in college, and I would say that was the best one. And uh, to help us with the vetoes, we have Tierzo Jeez, with the that. veto balloons. Come on in, Tierzo. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> oh no. Ah, oh, Tierzo. Oh, no. So horrible. Hey, Tierzo. Uh, thanks for coming in. I know you had a long night. 
God! Why is the clown closest to me? Why is the clown closest to me? Uh oh! Right, okay. Tearzo spills Party my foul. drink so. <laughs> oh I'm my gonna, god, how am I gonna get through it now? I'm not gonna Papa needs his bevy! I'm not gonna lie, Kissel, what you're drinking looks like pure gasoline. Yeah, it smells like someone took Red Bull and like boiled it down to like the syrup form. Yes, yeah, so you guys don't use condensed Red Bull. <laughs> you guys don't drink that. It's specially made just for me. Like if they made cold brew Red Bull, that is yeah, like what I imagine. Yeah, it's Red Bull. I'm sprinkled a little bit of Chris Hill methamphetamine in now. All right, please. We're not doing hard drugs here. This is a family stream. <laughs> I mean, uh, it was okay. till Tirzo showed up. <laughs> yeah, yeah actually, Tirzo is very traumatizing. That. I would rather Tirzo. hang out with Pennywise. Um, all right, shall we begin? I, I, Let's uh, do it. First up, we've got, we're just going to go left to right on this uh, tier list. First up, we have, I loathe this one. It's a great one to start with because I think this is our our lowest bar for me. And okay. chat, if you want to get mad about it, get mad about it. But it's wet meat mm. on a bun. Mm. It makes me want to throw up. Mm. I remember going with Jackie and Henry. We were on a road trip and they're like, we have to go to Arby's. God loves Arby's. Well, there's the no. You know how they are. Yeah, yeah. They were. It was, oh, wet meat. Did someone say something about wet meat? So <laughs> disgusting. Yep. And, I, and they were like, get the big wet or whatever they told me to get. They were like, big get Montana. Extra, get the big wet extra or whatever. So I got it and I wanted to throw up <laughs> the whole time. I had to go get like a chicken tender sandwich. Sandwich or something. Oh, you were starved. But I was sure. so. It hold was on, awful. hold on. What about? And I know these people exist. The gyro gyro diehards. There are well, people that's that actually, genuinely ride or die. I love it. To that Arby's point, Jack, gyro. the gyro that Arby's has created is a poor. Poor interpretation of what? what a proper euro can be. It's not Giuseppe Arby's Mediterranean uh, recipe that he took with him from the Mediterranean. No, it's uh, but you know. So what are we gonna do here? Jake, Jake, who, who? How do we start the tier system? I, I, I'm gonna go ahead and make an early plea for okay. Arby's to be D tier. I was gonna check in with Jake though, real quick. Okay. Jake, uh, uh, what is Chad saying about Arby's? Uh, a lot, a lot of uh, F Arby's, a lot of Arby's stinks. Great. But there are some, there are some true. RB I'm going to say Patriots. RB I'm going to say when the world says stand aside, they are planting their foot on the ground and saying, no, I like the wet right. meat. And I have a question for all okay. those people. I have a quick question. <laughs> Where were you January 6th? I want to fucking know. 2021. Where were you January 6th, 2021? Were you at a big building where politicians live? Because then we've got They some don't questions. live there. That's where they were. Well, they but, might. Some of them live there. Well, I think, yeah. Some of them actually do. The desk All right. Well, I'm going to say this. So I'm you're RBC going D or D. Tier. I don't see the full screen over here because there's a light in the way, but that's okay. So <laughs> yeah, yeah. We're cool here. Tiers? Look, you can look right here. Okay. So you'll look, look on yours. You can look right okay, there. Okay. Now, this is the interesting thing. Are we solely basing this upon the sandwiches? I'm going with the because, general experience. Yeah, no, I'm just with, well, 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 the gen, that, because I'm going to go. I'm going to put it at C tier. Are oh. you fucking kidding yes. me right now? Yes. No, I'm not. I'm at, dead. I'm at, dead fucking serious. At two kits of This is bold. This is I'm bold. So, but then what's D? All right, uh, let me ask you this then. Do you okay. have anything on this list that is a D? Because if not, well, it's going D. I'm just going to explain okay. why I believe Arby's is C. Okay. Let's not forget when Arby's first came out, okay? Arby's... It was, first of all, there was a, a ribbon cutting ceremony okay. outside of the Stevens Point Arby's, Where, much like when this? we got the Applebee's. <laughs> what I'm saying is there was a lot of pomp and circumstance. Okay. Also, let's not forget the $5 beefy chi meal when you were growing up and how crucial that was for a high school. It doesn't, but does that even okay. exist anymore? I mean, the, the, if we're going to go They do off bring that back every rules. now and again. Also, let's not forget, they introduced the curly fry. The curly fry really hit mainstream status with Arby's and the mod sticks. Also, let's talk horsey sauce and Arby sauce. All right. From horsey that perspective, because uh, I'm with you, I do not like the wet meat. It's a wet meat. The first bro. time I worked there and I saw that they come and they but pump I can't it just like eat it's gas. Sauce. I can't I, just I, fucking I, eat it. I know. Of this. People, we have to throw it to chat. I'm putting in a poll. Right. Right I'm going to go C. C it's or up D. to you because now. of the size. C or D. Well, you can't get or D. You can't get mod sticks. From you know burger, they've chicken sticks or you know so they they did provide something a little bit unique. My question, Kessel, again for you: Is there anything on this list that is D tier to you? Because I will that will change my mind a little bit. If, if you D feel like there is on no floor. this list, okay, not Whataburger, not Wendy's, not T Bell. Honestly, it might fucking be Subway. Honestly, I have been not, more disgusted more, by it's Subway. So gross. This is the problem too. How are we judging this? Because we've had to have this discussion before. Well, but I'm are we judging go. it by current standards, or like, are we taking the whole scope? Because food changed since we were kids at I all believe, these places. I think that we have to take the whole story. All right. Because that now I will say this: 
I did do the Jared Fogle diet, not that one. <laughs> All right, we don't need but to But I did lose, but that system. was true. I did lose a bunch of weight eating Subway in the 90s. Or maybe yeah. early 2000s. How far did you have to walk to get to the Subway? That's I would walk there and get the a half I didn't get a half inch uh veggie sub, so I did it right. So but, I do appreciate that and they did give a healthy option for the 90s. But wait, veggie it is or the veggie max with that weird fake patty. Uh, sometimes a weird fake I patty. I thought you okay. just did the vodka cocaine diet. I thought that Yes, was I also did that as well. That's the, that's the drink ended. component. The that's the drink is component. Over the chat has decided Arby's is C. Okay. Yes. 172 to 113. An unbelievable wow. upset. Pretty I can't big. I can't fucking pop a veto balloon this early. So no, you I'll can't. Are you, do it. Do it. Um, no, I'm you not know doing what? it. I'm, oh, so I'm, okay, so I'll go Subway. <laughs> I'm putting Subway SD because I also just watched something on Instagram about how they made their tuna fish. And it was the single nastiest so thing gross. I've ever seen. It's, just it's like dried gotten... tuna and then like just pounds of mayonnaise. So, wait, wait, wait. When the you the say bread... dried tuna, you mean like actual like freeze-dried? Like freeze-dried tuna. And then the bread, this is true. This is a true stat. In uh, in uh, Ireland, <sighs> it's classified as a cake because there's so much sugar in it. It's not legally bread. <laughs> All right, so Jake, I'm going D for great. Subway. All right, Jake, how do you feel? How does Chad feel about Subway at D? I mean, if we're jumping straight to Subway. Uh, I mean, we can jump straight to Subway. I don't I, don't I n oh, never have a good time eating at Subway. There was a hot no. second. There was a hot second for there me. There was a hot it, second. It's not, it made me shit, diarrhea shit bread, immediately. They used to cut a V in the into v, the top yes. of the bread, and that was it Good. was like Maxwell. Remember that video from Maxwell when you saw that perfect V that he had? No. Oh, oh, oh wait, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How does and, it feel? And you already kind of brought it up, but the face of the fucking uh, company is a, p a pedophile in jail right now. That's all. So, yeah, yeah, D. And they knew about it. <laughs> they literally did know about it. And they're like, be, well. Jared but... was not the mascot when they did the V. <laughs> what is, what's chat, what does chat say anything about Subway? Does F, F D, okay, okay, D, okay. D, 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 D,
Mm-hmm. <laughs> so that's kind of an indictment. So I understand. I was also too fat to work the register, they said. Uh, <laughs> that's not a thing. That's what they said. <laughs> did this other, they, 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 this did gal. Did they loud and this, stinky? That's no, not... this gal was working the register, but she was also a big one. By the way, if I see a big, fat, happy guy working <laughs> a register at the fast food restaurant, I'm going to be like, I'm about to eat good. Exactly. But they, they said it was bad for the brand. <laughs> what are these? It's not that fucking health food. It's true. I don't, talk to the Plover. Talk to the Plover's freaking Burger King. I will say in college. <laughs> I lived on the BK Veggie, which is before the Impossible Burger, and it was fucking delicious, and then one day, it sucked, and I had to look in the news, and it turns out they were grilling the veggie on the beautiful beef. Yeah, was this like a vegetarian grill. phase you were in? I went uh, through one in college. In, uh, TMI, I kept kosher for a very long time. Anyway. Why is that TMI? Because <laughs> people don't need to know about my connection with the one true God <laughs> and his lack of a divine son. That's just not All I know is Jesus don't like that cheese touching me. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, <laughs> all right. There it is. Oh, Thank God. Tears up. Tears up. Come out here. What do you think? Tears what do you think? What do you think about organized monotheism? <laughs> <laughs> wow, really? I have to think about it. Oh, oh, man. oh well, <laughs> Yes, it can lead to a lot of corruption, can't it? That's a solid point. Um, All right, BK, I'm going to say this right now before we do a ranking. Okay. I think the Whopper actually is the best. Like, outside of the fancier fast food places, like a, I fa- agree. a Five Guys, I think at the basic bitch level of fast food, the Whopper is the best burger on the market. <laughs> That's my personal opinion. I just think the patty is the right size. Mm-hmm. I like the mayonnaise. I like the shredded lettuce. All of it. It, it feels good. Tastes good. I always remove the pickles. I don't ask them to take the pickles out, though, because I like a little bit of pickle flavoring. I just don't like the texture. So I remove yeah. the pickles from well, the A lot of times they piss in the pickles. Everybody knows all that. Whoa, yeah. <laughs> Be very careful uh, no, with okay, the pickles. Okay. I believe there was a place. Like, the Foot Lettuce Burger King definitely had piss pickles. But you're oh, saying yeah. a lot. Like, it is an epidemic. It's it is- mandated <laughs> by the king. And don't make, get me started on the mayonnaise. There's there's cum in that mayonnaise. Oh, there's so, there's so much, much cum. Yeah, there's that so was, much load. Because that's was how they this, keep uh, it cool. You know, there the was this back. comedian when I started doing comedy. I would go out to the comedy uh, clubs. They would put you up in a little room. There's a guy named John Fox. He was banned from every comedy club because he used to jerk off in all the mayonnaise. Wow. Uh, eat, he was spitting all the ketchup and stuff. And he'd be like, that's really funny. Wow. But then, long story short, he died of alcoholism. But um, I'm going to go with... Um, okay, Daddy so Lever. with Burger Make King... laugh. Make him laugh. Just <laughs> <laughs> because, again, A, they fired me. B... I actually think the Big Mac is superior to the Whopper. It is what it is for me. Um, I think that they stretched it a little bit far with the chicken sticks. Mm. I didn't know the chicken needed a cum stick version. However, I will say <laughs> the elongated the chicken, chicken sandwich, the one that looks like it's about to go down to the Titanic, right. best chicken sandwich mm. on the market. I, the flame at Keep the new, it simple. The, the flame one, one what the Lexi whaler? craves it like crazy, the flame and chicken but sandwich. When it great. comes to their hamburger itself, I think it's worse than Wendy's, McDonald's, no. Jack in the Box. What? It's I love, better than I, I McDonald's, love Burger worse Bro, than so. Wendy's. I give it a B. I'm, I'm, right, I'm actually, okay with B. I'm I was okay willing. I was ready. I was like bracing myself for B. I was gonna be really fucking mad at you if you're gonna try to put it next to Arby's. No, it's better than Arby's. Okay. Arby's again. The meat comes in at least a patty form. Can you? Um, and I do like the chicken tendies. And I also will say, remember when they came out with those new French fries? When Burger King came out with that new fry? Yeah, yeah. I can't. It was like the crispiest fry. It was like golden. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were really, really yeah. solid. So I, have, I think they have good fries. Yeah, I will say, I, I agree. I like their fries the best. I like it better than maybe Wendy's, but I like it better than McDonald's. And I would say I this about the fry. You do always need to add like one packet of salt to it. That's mm. the only issue. It's always under salt. But that's okay. It's an easy fix. They have the salt packets. I'm happy to do it that way. I, I'm down you with actually, the So you Ooh. salt your fast food? Just you don't just think there's Burger, enough salt in your just basket. Burger King fries. They do not salt them enough. Chat back in. All right, all right. Up. Actually, Brittany in chat makes a very good point. I don't know if this is enough to bump it up a tier, but when you get that little onion ring in the order of fries, yes. there's a special treat. Oh, that that's is a special true. treat. That's a special, a special little treat. God, this is so. It's so. It's, I know it's not binary technically, but. Ah, that's a B plus, but it doesn't. Yeah. you can't move it out because okay, that technically not, is a mistake. Push it to but a. I did forget okay. about those onion rings. One of my pet peeves. One of them is that now all of these burgers are coming with the way that you used to make it when you were super stoned. Let me handle it, Burger King. I don't need you to put onion rings. You know, McDonald's has the fucking fish fillet burger and chicken on a sandwich. Yeah. I should do that. <laughs> that is disgusting. <laughs> 
So, but yes, I agree. Those onion rings are freaking dope, and you put that on a sandwich. Oh yeah. Uh, Jake, B B for Burger King. You cool with that? I'm cool with that. Okay. All right. Well, um, I could kind of give a fuck about a Carl's Jr. Hardee's. Yeah, no. I feel like it's always like one step let, below. Let me let me let me tell dogs. you. Let me tell you. The yeah. way Carl's Jr. and Hardee's always advertises themselves, they want to be a Culver's. They want to be a Shake Shack. They keep advertising like they are some kind of heightened burger experience. But it's always like McDonald's level, just like generic shit. It's never that like the thick burger. It's never that good. It's never that quality. You guys I'm forgot about you guys forgot about the Angus beef burger. Yeah, I guess the no, single yeah. greatest burger in fast food history. <laughs> what? And Carl's Jr. has the best. Hardee's. Burger. I'm a Hardee's boy because okay, I'm no, the Midwest. No, 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 no. The Angus beef burger was simply phenomenal. First of all, is it Carl's Jr. Is it Hardee's? I wouldn't fucking know because it's well, constantly it's different. Same, but it's okay? the same. It, I don't, it's, it's a colloquialism. It's deceptive. Second of all, bro, I feel like the Carl's Jr. Hardee's is always like, well. There's nothing else, so mm -hmm. I guess this will be fine, and it's always never fine. sought it out. Describe the Angus Burger. What's 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 good about it? It's huge, burger. man. It was huge, and it was seven dollars, but it was worth it, and it was really big, and there was a lot of it. <laughs> and, um, it filled the void <laughs> so inside me for a, yeah, just a big, beautiful couple of minutes. It's yeah, this big burger, and literally nothing else. <laughs> no, you've used the same it, adjective. It's big. <laughs> Um, open up the thesaurus. No, it was for good. It was good. It was large. Um, <laughs> so it had a good taste to it. It tasted a little bit more upscale. I Carl's Jr. I think is superior to Burger King. <laughs> I do think it's superior to Burger Re King. I superior. I, I ask mm. ask the chat because I think right, I don't that. think you've experienced yeah, this. Right. Have, you, have you had a lot of Carl's I, I'm Jr.? I'm willing to go be. It, honestly, dude, I've never had a bad experience with Carl's Jr. But I'm well, always huge. like, oh, I wish this was Burger King. I wish this was Wendy's. We've all had a bad experience with every other place. I've never had one with Carl's I don't think Jr. I've never either. had a bad experience with like McDonald's is just McDonald's. Like I don't think I'm. I wouldn't say it's yeah. all bad. I guess technically in a way, but like because it makes you depressed or whatever. Right. But with the science and uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, with the so whatever they put in. It to make this is going to be interesting. Also, it is hard. It's Carl's Jr. Hardee's, so let's remember that. And I don't <laughs> what know, if there's someone that's like, no, seriously, Hardee's is better. I know. I've traveled. Well, this I've country. heard <laughs> such contrarian <laughs> beliefs before. Trust me. Um, also, growing up, when you would go to Hardee's, I don't know, something about a Hardee's. Also, remember they had the sourdough? Yeah. Remember no, I don't remember. You're, you're throwing all this crazy shit at me. I just get a burger when I go. I the Hardee's had a boundary. sourdough. Uh, they, breakfast sandwich, I believe. They don't mm. offer like that was quite tasty, quite tasty. And the chicken, uh, well, what do they got for chicken? I guess I haven't really tried their chicken strips or nuggies. I don't know what have, they have. They this can't fuck it up. I mean, I it's feel impossible. like I always get the burger and fries. That's the thing. I mean, if they're gonna fuck something up, it's gonna be. But like, if you're just gonna judge everything off the burger and fries, I mean, you're gonna leave a well, lot on the table. We're judging off of something else. Well, that's just like a judging LeBron thing. just based on an assist. What about the points and the rebounds? <laughs> you're talking about practice. I'm talking about the fucking game, Kissel. It's you're talking not, about practice. It's not looking good. Is Hardy's better than BK? Chat says no. All right. I've been proven wrong by the chat. Right. Democracy doesn't always come out with We're the best outcomes. C. Do you want to use your veto balloon to pump, bump it to B? Uh, <sighs> it is Am a big burger. Gonna, it is oh, a, my no, God. No, no, wait. Yeah, wait. Here's so, come back. Come back. Here's so, here's so, look here's you know in the what? eye. No, I'm not. It's not going to be worth it for Are you. Sh look, look at Tirzo. <laughs> Are you sure you don't want to use your veto? I don't want to use it right now. Oh, okay. All right. Uh, before we move on, I'm, sca <laughs> God, I'm scared of this next upsetting. one. So I'm bracing myself for this next one. So I'm going to take just a second and say, uh, Jake, how many subs do we have right now? On we this are sub? currently operating at 1,154. Whoa. Oh, yeah, so less than Insane. 300 subs to go for the next goal. Thank you Whoa. so much, everybody. Keep them coming. And Jake, if you see any big gifted subs pop, Please call them out, and we'll, we'll shout you out during the stream. All right, guys? Okay. Thank you so much, everybody. All right, I'm fucking not happy right now about what's about to happen. <laughs> I love Chipotle. It makes me happy. I'm addicted to it. It makes me shit my brains out, oh. and I love that about it. You don't need a juice cleanse. You don't Didn't need... they just have an E. coli outbreak? They, they, I don't know what it is. That's the price you pay for using actual ingredients. Also, yeah. you know, I'm always suspect of any restaurant where their whole marketing is, <laughs> food's not fake. Yeah, no, their whole thing is like it's real food. You're not mad well, at Chipotle. You're mad at the world that they have to do that. No, also Chipotle. Even in the commercial, they show them making all this fresh food, and then they just dump a bunch of salt on it. Bro, it it's is delicious. Good. Salt Get is steak, great. Steak, that new garlic steak they offer. All right, the first of all, you live in California now, buddy. This is almost yeah, and racist. I go like once a week, and no, it's oh, not Mexican right. food. It's Chipotle. I've said that, and that's Hold what in. their slogan Hold should in. be. S it's not Mexican food. It's Chipotle. Hold in, look at me. S tier. I want it to be S tier. I want it. Can I veto down? 
Yeah, you can, you can veto. You I mean, veto I'd prefer down. if you didn't. God, remember that commercial no where way. it was like the little farmer in the future and he was just like raising cattle and they played like indie music? I <laughs> cried. I cried during that Chipotle commercial. <laughs> it's Chipotle. We yeah, know but, that. And yeah. also, I also don't need to like go through this whole ring em a roll right. of like, and I'll take it. the rice, and I'll take the guacamole. <laughs> oh. And can I have some salad cream, please? Guacamole, you It's like, ecstasy. oh my freaking lord already. Just give me, can I have a number seven? I mean, right. you can't do that at Chipotle. I love it because also, you Also, you think exactly it's good that you, you shit want. your brains out. Yeah. That's not good for your body. It's That's cleanse. on you. Sometimes That's you gotta you. clear Why out. Why do you order double beans? Yeah, you clear out the colon, bro. It's amazing. Uh, also, if we're talking about Big Burger, if we are talking about you got a fucking chasm in your body. You need just raw tonnage to just cram into yourself. Chipotle, nobody walks away from a Chipotle burrito being like, Dude, mm, I mean, I you know what else they don't do? They, they also don't walk away eating Chipotle because it's not portable. That's a diss. No, what? you got a Sammy. You, 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 oh, you're running a marathon. Oh, I'll have a little sandwich. Oh, that is oh, the running a marathon. Let me have some Chipotle real quick. That's a, a skill issue. Ultimate travel food. But what are you talking no, about? No, not the way that they thing. make them. You not the way that they make it. them. You unwrap it. It holds it. The foil holds it together. If you're, not if the you're unwrapping the uh, Chipotle burrito and just raw dogging the whole tortilla, you're doing it wrong. Also, you bring that into the office every day. Everyone hates you. Everybody hates you. People love me. I say as Holden says as. Are you gonna veto? I mean, I'm will, I'm more willing to consider it being an A because I want us to have, like consensus our S tier. You know what I mean? Like I'm 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 okay with it not being. I S. mean, I, I I don't know. I don't want to. No, it's technically you, both of you guys want to go S, so you can go S with it. Real quick, who's what's your burrito? So mine is uh, uh, rice and fajita with steak, and then Whoa. we get mild, medium, and then we do sour cream cheese, a little bit of lettuce. Why is it so fucking difficult? It's great. It's At Taco fast. Bell, it's you order a too. bean yeah. and cheese but burrito. At Taco Bell, you can't be like, hey, this is a fucking P pathetic piss amount of uh, beef. Because it's 89 it's cents, and if you complain about it, it's oh. also it's not beef. So. Also, it makes me feel like a rich, fancy lad when I got a little extra dosh in my pocket, and I'm like, yeah, yeah, you know what? I would like it's guacamole. It's a treat myself. It's a self-care, yeah. Kissel. And then also it comes in return again because it's a cleanse. What's chat saying? Uh, a lot. It's very contentious. A lot I'm of sure this is contentious. Poll. Some people <laughs> are right. like, this kept me alive in college. Yeah. This is important. Well, if that's the measure, Little Caesars. Is Little Caesars on here? Because <laughs> I'd actually like make this. Little Caesars S we tier. Don't, we'll do pizza on a different one. Someone oh, said Chipotle okay. is the Taylor Swift. Oh, uh, well, Mexican I mean, yeah. Then don't do that. Don't I'm not going to read what else they said about Taylor Swift because <laughs> I need to work with you. and need to keep your spirits high. This Thursday, going to Eras, man. So fun. So excited. Uh, uh, any. Who, uh, her show, I'm going to her show this That'll time. be exciting. I'm, I'm sure so she's excited. happy to see you there. Man, a lot of edibles and the snake will come, you know, the snake It'll be fun for the girls to see you there. Absolutely. Karma is my, my boyfriend. Bracelets. Chipotle is my lunch. That's what go. I say. Okay, go. so. All right, I say poll. People are demanding a poll. All right. Uh, we put a poll. Do we say. S or A? I think we say S, A, or B. Ooh. Okay. Because no. I would be it, but that that's represents just represents. It's also, it's also. So pretentious. You know when you're when your first friends got the job at the businesses and they're like, you could be a loser. You never gonna make it. I'm working over here at Goldman butt bags. Uh, and then they go to Chipotle every lunch, and they're like, I'm just doing my corporate thing. I just don't, I don't like the vibe. I don't like the energy. I feel the complete opposite. The vibe's always good, very well air conditioned. There's just, uh, you know, if you, you got to get there, you know, a little ahead of the lunch rush, a little bit of a oh, smoky joe also, on that. Yeah, we get, we get in there, you know. Not you, to mention everything is open. All the food's open there. Flies dumping in there, taking There's dumps. There's no flies. They keep what? It. Well, you never know. Taking there was dumps. An e there was an e, e. coli Do breakout. Do flies even shit? I mean, that's not even. Every time they land, they piss in the pickles at Burger King. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> All right. All right. What do we got? What's the poll? Uh, the poll has been running for a hot second now. It looks like uh, B is the dominant one. Un B right wins. Now. I think B should win. Un There's still. I, I, I want to give it another minute. Uh, yeah, I mean, no, it's, it's we, we got 30 we wait till seconds, the poll, 20 poll seconds. fucking ends, then we'll put it in. Well, we have actually, yeah, Vote B is chat. up by 50. No, B is over 50%. It's, yeah, it's I'm, not I'm, I'm A, everyone wants to call the election early, but when, the, you know what I mean? <laughs> but you gotta if wait. If you're in line, you know, stay you're in line. This. this is the, the election <laughs> denial. They can't kick you off the line if you're voting. Stay in line. Everybody said Hillary, Hillary, Hillary. And then what yep. happened, Kissel? Uh, those emails. Yeah, those, oh yeah, those pesky emails. It's over, it's over. B wins. All right, fuck. However, oh, yeah. Tirso well, coming that does here, show you. That does uh -oh. Uh -oh. I am using my executive power to veto chat. I feel this strongly about wow. the hot tuba slop that is Chipotle. Pop that bad boy, it's going S.
<laughs> it's going ass. I don't get oh, uh, I'm sorry. Sorry, tears. Jake, no. we should have talked about the rules earlier. I feel like you can only bump it like one slot up or down. Right? Oh, that's a great thing we can do next time. Put it in All X. Right, wow. Oh, okay. So well, that's a, it's a hell of a veto. I mean, well, I love going to the Midwest. Uh, this next one, wow. I love going to the Midwest. I love this fucking chain. Oh, wow. I just did a heel turn. People are Yeah, people are bad. real oh, mad. Yeah, I bet. Hey, what are they saying? Because it ruins you, the whole thing. Uh, Boo, boo, this is bad. Uh, Jake Golduck says, hail Jake. So, you know. Wow, you one other person shitting themselves at lunch. I'm like the Let's Ron go, DeSantis of this stream right that's now. A great <laughs> that's thing. a great, oh, that's a great thing Andrea to want to be. Weirdos, and I yes, indeed. You. Well, right, working at Chipotle up. teaches you good, useful skills. <laughs> like, <laughs> hey, you never got fired from a Chipotle. So I never worked at one. Exactly. There yeah, you go. that's true. I... Love a Culver's. I think I've only eaten there maybe once or twice. They do <laughs> the- unsight. Don't punch me. <laughs> Don't, Hi. no violence. Hi, folks, no hey, violence. Hey, I can't, dude, I wasn't willing hey. to do it. For I me. thought it was only one. I assumed it was only one, but you know. Well, either way, I guess that gives you some carte blanche on, mm -hmm. on a different one, okay? Yep. I, I mean, technically, I could just use my veto to lower it down to B again. That is true. You oh, could actually God. do that if you wanted to. You, hey, you, a veto stands at any point. At we, any yeah, point. Okay. Lock the list. Well, maybe. So we lock the yeah, list. Yeah, that Chipotle is in my eyes. It's, it's gonna. <laughs> it's, it, it hurts you. It's it so doesn't go you. lower than B, though, or I fucking riot. <laughs> no, it would, be, it would not be. No. Right. No more than two spaces if right. we're going to. Otherwise, it's totally unfair. This is a. It's a rigged election. Kissel, I feel like you could speak the best towards Culver's. How do you feel about Culver's? A butter burger makes a better burger butter. Yep. Shout Agreed. out a to Ohey makes... Reeves for gifting five subs. Thank you hey, so thank much. You. Where are we at? What's the 1,170. Um, We're just clawing our to way to 1,420. We're so close to that next goal. Thank it's you so much. It's 420 somewhere, and that Whoa. place is here. Oh, yeah, Let's dude. make it happen. We'll smoke um, weed. Somebody will smoke weed on camera if we hit it. I, can we do that? Yeah, we can do that. Oh, yeah, nice. it's legal. We're in a legal state. Well, well I don't know. I'm not sure. Twitch is uh, confirmed. We're fine. Oh, okay. I'm going to go with an A for Culver's. Because number one, I'm sure all of us have seen the meme of the person proposing to his girlfriend outside of the said Culver's. Uh -huh. um, again, when it came to my hometown of Stevens Point, Wisconsin, it was a massive deal. Yes, if you eat it more than once a week, you will die 10 years early. <laughs> However, that's what makes it so freaking good. Culver's French fries on point burger, right? is the butter burger, but then yep. also, they so got good. that freaking ice cream. It's not even ice cream. It's like butter cream. Wait, is it custard? And it's custard. custard. Yes, oh. it's a custard. That's right. And so you can start to really sort of expand your taste buds by getting your sweet and savory in there, dipping your French fries into said custard. I think it's an A because it satisfies all members of family. Grandma can get something <laughs> soft. The kids can like the custard. And the mom and the dad, they can eat themselves a butter Why burger. Why does grandma need some? Oh, because of the teeth. Yeah. Oh, you know how that grandma's. It's like soft stuff. Or maybe she's shoves it up her fucking ass, huh? Grandma! <laughs> hey, Grandma, that's not where the, call, that's not where the custard goes. My grandmother loved anal. Oh, God, it does. Well, so well, uh, either way, Well, Culver's, your mother, yeah. She which, hasn't listened to anything you've done. Uh, literally, she's listened to Whisper lately. Oh, that's nice yeah. of her. Wow. wow. There you go. We'll uh, talk about her maybe a little later in the uh, Holy is very strongly pushing for S or A. I, I'm cool with A. I'm cool with... I'm, honestly, if you... If, if Kissel was a hard S, I'd be like... Uh, I'd probably go with you. You want to do A? I want to go A because again, what does it? What makes it not an S? You cannot eat it every day. Yeah. <laughs> Which you one will can you eat? This fast food. What can you eat every fucking day? I guess you yeah, know. Jimmy John's Taco Bell. Okay. Taco Bell is not an everyday treat. Yeah, I, Taco Bell I also went on the Taco day, Bell maybe diet. Jimmy John's. Maybe I also Jimmy. lost a lot of weight on Taco Bell. What was your Taco Bell <laughs> diet? Uh, it was just bean burritos, no rice. Yep. Yep. Uh, I mean, no, bean burrito, no cheese, extra rice. My buddy Pat, if he's watching, uh, we would go so every Saturday morning. Yep. If I slept over at his place, we would go to the pet store and get mice to feed the snakes and reptiles. And then we'd go to Taco Bell, and, and he's because he's vegetarian, so that was the only uh, yep. fast food he ate. And I would get like a beef burrito. A but we are moving. Uh, we're not on Taco Bell yet. All right, we'll get there later. Uh, Culver's, I'm locking it at A. For the, the subs. All right. Right. Oh, look at that. If we hit 420, it's happening. If we hit 14, well, if 20, I do that, the stream will be over. Yeah, I also, so I will refrain. I'll do one hit away. I'll be fine with it. He's fine. He's always stoned. I like to get to, stoned alone. <laughs> who wants to watch me be afraid to exist in my own skin? <laughs> huh? Wait, what do you mean I'm this big? <laughs> All right, so, and honestly, this thing is coming together. This A tier is looking, that's a day. 
Mm-hmm. <laughs> you got Bojangles and Culver's in yeah. a day. Mm-hmm. I like it. I'm, right. I'm so excited for you to have Bojangles, man. I'm just like, I know. I, you, dude. I, I can't wait. Also, there's no Polo Loco. Polo Loco? No, polo no Loco. Polo Loco. There's a lot now that we have to do this again. Right, right. We'll, we'll do, do it. it. And, and, and there's uh, honestly, I would even do one on just fast food fries, just, you know, specifics. And, and fast pizza, food pizzas. Pizza mm-hmm. places. Because I've got a lot to say about Little Caesars. Totally. They are really coming up. I'm well, dead well, serious. What are they ranked? Little Caesars? Yeah. In my world, yeah. S. And what is Papa John's? Oh, at this point, a D. Mm. And what is Domino's? Pizza, uh, Domino's is a uh, is a B. Depends Pe- how. Uh, no, Domino's is an A. Pizza, it's a B. Uh, and then uh, I'm I'm such a fucking sucker for the garlic dip at Papa John's, though. I don't yeah, know but what they ruined. Is. They just ruined it. Yeah, they made it, it too like creamy, huh? Well, and also they it's the papadilla that they have now. If you watch a pizza or a Papa John's commercial, they don't even show you pizza. Right. It's very weird. All right. But anyway, that's a whole other thing. This one's such a weird one for me because so we did a tier list for this, just Jake and I for Wizbrew Patreon. Oh, the hey, Patreon, I got four slash Wizbrew. Uh, 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 and Jake had to explain to me that there is actual food, non ice cream food at a Dairy Queen. I, I'm oh, not yes. aware of this. Yes. I only know Dairy Queen as an ice you cream get place. A burger, a hot dog? Yes. Think, yes. Thank you. This, Absolutely. This one I kind of have to give up to you guys and chat. Uh, so give me your first impressions. Yeah, I'll put at. up a poll because I, I think I only had the blizzard. I never actually sat down and oh ate, you have um, the dilly bar the ice cream cake the dairy queen ice cream cake used to have little crunchies in it mm. and then i will say this is why they're not going to be a or b or s b well s or a maybe a b i don't know i have to think about it but they changed the crunchies into just like cake okay ruined their whole ice cream mm. cake the dilly bar was fantastic the double dipped ice creams i mean just phenomenal and then truly the chicken tendies the french fries and the burgers it just reminds me of coming home from the beach. You stop at uh, you stop at a Dairy Queen. I do like a good. Dairy. I'm gonna go B. I like how the ice cream is shaped. You got those weird spheres of ice cream. Yeah, I, I like couldn't it. See it it's being, iconic. I couldn't see it being more than a B. I've literally never heard anyone talk about the Dairy Queen savory side. It's I, a, well, it's a it is a little hidden gem. Right. I, I, I can see it. I mean, I've liked Dairy Queen ice cream. I have no issue with Dairy Queen ice cream. It's great. So, all right, cool. We're going B. Do we need to even, what are uh, people saying? Paul is saying B, 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 B is perfect. Okay. Absolute yeah. B. B is perfect. Because that, I, I mean, that is a refreshing, I don't know. Maybe we just used to go in high school after a day at the beach. This, I just feel like Dairy Queen is a fun little spot. What do you mean? I'm sorry. Sea Tank mentioned an item called Steak Fingers. Okay. Oh, I remember steak fingers. Okay. What yes, do you indeed. mean steak? Like, is that just chicken fried steak? I'm imagining. I never got it. But you know what else? They floppy things of beef. What's wrong with that? Well, that's how all of us got here. <laughs> um, no, I came what? from a, a stiff, <laughs> yeah. hard beef. But also, don't forget the pizza treats. Uh, sugar bridges. Thanks, Thank sugar you so bridges. Much gifted. Don't forget the treats of pizza. Remember oh. the treats of pizza? Remember the treats of pizza? No, I don't she know. Was I don't, I'm good. Dairy Queen fucking blind. It was bro. literally just. It was a. It was a <laughs> cake pizza, <laughs> and it was. Ugh. It was awesome. No, it was <laughs> truly. It was by phenomenal. The way, none of this stuff of you actually. So maybe the steak figures a little bit, but none of none of it is, is actually sold on me at all. But whatever, I'll go with B. Uh, uh, I guess we're going to Wendy's. I guess the next. Wait, I mean, Dairy Queen. I'm down. I, I guess uh, this next one's kind of a wild card. This next one, I mean, I would. If you ask me, like, what's your list of fast food restaurants. I wouldn't necessarily say Dunkin' Donuts, but at the same time, Dunkin's carried me through. Also, I love Ben Affleck's relationship with Dunkin' Donuts. It's kind of just a cultural touchstone for me. In uh, New York, I would get- Boston? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, he, he's always sad and holding Dunkin' Donuts coffee. He's oh, it's his thing. Yeah, it's his thing. He's like to smoke a cigarette and hold a big Dunkin' Donuts coffee and look really sad to be okay. with J-Lo. So okay. I love that. But the I also don't know. That has nothing to do with the food. So. Yeah, I don't know exactly. I don't know where to put it. Like I'm, I'm um, cool with the coffee. What are the uh, what's the lowest one again? D, D is the lowest. D. D. Because well, the, the food, food is simply inedible. I like the the glazed donuts are fine. At best fine, but it's a donut restaurant. Also, they don't let their employees take any of the food home, so they just throw away copious yeah. amounts uh, of donuts okay, at the end of the day. I'm not getting right, political. Right, I'm just saying. I'm not getting right political. Now. But literally, you go to Donkeys mm-hmm. when there, no other Nothing, option. Yeah. No other option. And even then, I will say, within the genre of weird coffee place that'll microwave you a fucked up breakfast sandwich, Starbucks is better. Sure. 
and they, Starbucks sucks. Yeah, yeah. So that's Starbucks why it has sucks. to be a D. I mean, if you're thinking, I, I mean, you got Yum Yum Donuts, you got Krispy Kreme Donuts. When it comes to fast food donuts, I would choose almost any other fast food I mean, donut Krispy over Krispy Kreme's Gunky. amazing. There's Canadians I, making a big uh, to do about Tim Hortons. This I got this off an American list. Wait, are we? Yeah. We're really saying that Starbucks coffee is better than Dunkin' Coffee? I mean, I would take Dunkin'. A, I would take Dunkin' Coffee over Starbucks coffee if, if that's the is, discussion. That's I best. have had a lot of sad boy Starbucks Mike Turbo Chef sandwiches yeah. and some sad boy Turbo Chef Dunkin' sandwiches, and the Starbucks ones are always better, and they cost the same on top of that. But. Right. I will say I like the system at Dunkin' Donuts better than Starbucks. Why do I have to give you my social security right. number <laughs> to why get a coffee? Yeah, do, I never they, understood the Starbucks totally. system. It seems so clunky, and, and, and no one seems to like it, and they, yeah, but they've always done it. Sometimes it's um, just like ugly, lonely guy with glasses. Like They don't even say my name. They just like, right. call me Wait, out. They call so. me yeah. uh, Dr. Dr. Champ. Yeah, 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 Dr. Oh, yeah. Champ, big goons. They call me Flabbers. Yeah, it's like <laughs> well, I don't just, really please, no it. nicknames, please. I'm Holden. Ben. I'm like I'm Holden. Yeah, yeah, ben. you don't have to Smokey please. Joe or whatever. Yeah. That was my nickname in high school. By, by the way, this is a thing, a revelation on page seven. Kissel, my nickname in high school was Smokey Joe. The jocks gave it to me because I would run to the lunch line to get ahead of it at lunch. So I, I didn't have that. to wait. And they called me Smokey Joe. Because you have been of that. the same ever. You've just never changed. <laughs> I know. I was even talking about Chipotle. I'd run to the Chipotle to get ahead of the rush. <laughs> I know you do. I How really do. Always are late we to work. Are we get through this list? Oh, we're going to be fine. Are we, are we go, what, we're done at uh, 2.15, uh, uh, Eric? Give or take. We All right, we're good. All right, we can start. I love this. I'd rather be rushing through it than uh, being like, oh, we're almost done with All this. Right, All right, 15 DK. more minutes. Duncan, what, so we're going deep. Everyone, Duncan. I think, agrees that it's a D. All right. Yeah. And also, America runs on Duncan. Let to everyone say, America sits on his ass on Duncan, which is more accurate right. and true. Um, yeah, Boston's yeah. also kind of whatever. I'm just kidding. Well, one of the people, one of the... One of the people, people that actually, I know a couple of people from Boston, and they are re really the definition of the white devil. Uh, where are we at with subs? Are we getting close to the me smoking weed on stream during uh, this I segment? don't, I mean, unless there's some brave heroes that really want to watch Holden yeah. rip this fat alien bong, uh, we're currently at uh, 1,205. Hey, all right. So we could do it. We Two, could do 215 it. 215 to go. Well, Can we lot. get there in 15 minutes? Well, if you guys see. are aggressive, let's fucking make it happen. Oh, wait. Shelmer250 just gifted five tier ones. There Thank you, you go. so Thank much. You. That gets us closer. Consider it. <laughs> yeah, tier oh, tier so, on, tier so, tier so. Tier so. celebration dance. Yeah, tier so. Some, some celebration. Some weird clown shit for us. There you go. Awesome. All right, yeah. Smoke weed. Tier so knows what weed is or whatever. All right, tier so's coughing now. Oh, God. All right, tier so. A lot of tier so emotes in chat. Everybody is going gaga for this clown. Whoa, did we just get a crazy pop of subs? Yeah, Handsome Zorch just gave us 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Yeah, maybe oh, Tirzo's gonna hit the weed. Tirzo's already sad. Tirzo's got, uh, got a lot no. of production work. Tirzo has to do everything. Yeah, yeah well, I'm don't remind Tirzo. That's why <laughs> she's crying. Sparker just came in with five gifted subs. Oh, oh, right. Thank, Thank you so much. Thank you All so right, much. All right, well, let Tirzo back out. The people want Tirzo. Okay, more oh, Tirzo. Right. <laughs> Give them what they want. Honey right. face. You got that da, 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 funny face. All right, we'll, we'll pick up the oh, pace oh, on these oh, a little oh, bit. Uh-oh. 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 Uh -oh. Oh, 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 no, right. no, Not no, a dog attack. Dog. Unbelievable. Those are kisses. Oh, no, that's unbelievable. That's not an attack. No, it just, feels bad. It just feels awful. bad when hit, that happens. Thank you, Tears. Uh, thanks thanks for the keysies. Hit us with those Tears of emotes, and you get access to those Uncanny Tears of Rachel. emotes with thank a you. sub. So thank you so much. All right. This is an S. But no, I, also thank you. I also understand that there are issues with this. It is way overpriced, but it's right down the street from me. It is literally where I went during like that's my not, whenever I'm struggling and whenever I'm having a hard day. Fat ass didn't I, want to walk. I sad. That's not no, one of the I reasons walk, to make it an ass. I sad walked to Five Guys and I eat a Five Guys bacon cheeseburger with the two patties. We get the um, Cajun fries and uh, the and a, and a cherry Coke or a Dr. Pepper from the crazy, you know, they have the crazy soda. This is an imaginary food. friend you're having no, lunch with? No, I love it, dude. So I've fallen in love with Five Guys. I know in and outs like the whatever out here, but I go to Five Guys and it's like my depression food. It's my celebration food. It, it, it heals what ails you. I personally would put Five Guys at S. I'm open, opening the floor. Uh, it's it almost outside. It's, overpriced. it's outside it of the realm well, of fast food. It's almost an unfair comparison. Almost. But I love it. It's very good. It's very satisfying. You get the peanuts while you wait around. The fries are incredible. 
It's a yeah. really good time. I do like the peanut oil. I also do love they just dump the fries so into much. a bag mm-hmm. and you eat it like a it, horse. It, it's an illusion. The fun bonus um, is the bag thing. Yeah, yeah. It's cool. It's it is good. It's good. Fries. But yeah. to your point, Jake, not to be totally white trash, but it is a little slower than I would like my fast food wow. to be. <laughs> um, but that is solely because they cook it right there. Yeah, they you cook it right You see it on the grill. You. I, but oh, that price though. Also, Kitzel. doesn't that price have to bring it down one? The price I would because agree. because that's an A. I think it's if an A stickler, because of the price. If you're a stickler, what is it? I, Fifteen I bring it bucks. Down. It's so it dude, gets it's there. Like thirty dollars. The for drink what I get. and if oh, with a dessert, that's like a full thirty dollar. Oh, dude, adventure. I, I think, think it's like peanuts. twenty-five bucks for what I just described: yeah. a burger, fries, and a coke. That's, it is so that doesn't make it. That doesn't make it accessible. And that's not even largest. I get a regular fry and a regular drink, and it's so overpriced. Very. If it was cheaper. We would not be doing this stream. We would just live yeah. at Five Guys. That's the thing, though. It's kind of yeah. a service they're doing for us, making it that expensive. Because then it's like, you know, we won't oh, go. Oh, shit. October Noir Vita. Thank you so much for 10 gifted subs. Thank you. What are we at? Where are we, what are we at right now? Uh, 1280 out of 4, 420. Well, they really uh, want to uh, see you get stoned. 140 subs. If we could do it in the next 15 minutes, guys, I'll fucking take He'll, one hit Yep, he's got to do round and table then I'll be later. Weird so. for love box and round table. Really great. All right, Five Guys A. Uh, I go A, in, just All because right. of the price. I'm sorry. It's All right, just we're gonna have, crazy. We'll have to pick up the pace just a little bit. Okay. Jack in the box, jack of all trades, master of none. I do not want to eat an egg roll at a place I could get a taco or a burger. None of it's going to be good. If the Everyone knows this secret. If the menu's too much, there's too much shit on the menu, none of it's any particularly great. Jackie will fucking want to kill me for saying this. Yeah. She fundamentally disagrees with me. She thinks I'm a fucking idiot who drinks piss for a living. Well, you sound a little bit like uh, that Taffer guy from Bar Rescue. Sometimes you go to a diner and you just see, you know when it's a book? There's something about that that's very comforting and warm. Right. Um, I had Jack in the Box on the way back from San Francisco. Uh, was it good? I'll have to say it was not. Mm. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not like, I got the hamburger from there. Very simple. Also. And it really was, un- for some reason, the um, the tomato was like that thick. Yeah. It was like really thick. And then the onion was just on there. It took really long. So I'm gonna go see my buddy Ben. If Ben and Ooh. Ben of Troy's in chat right now, uh, uh, in high school, he just couldn't stop talking about how great Jack and Box was. We'd always go there, and he'd be like, "Yeah, we're high. Let's go there." And then he got so violently ill off of it mm. for like an entire weekend. So it's always put a bad taste in my mouth. What is chat saying? Uh, chat is saying, "What about breakfast? It's a good breakfast." Some okay, people are rooting for the tacos, but we put up a poll, and D is the head. Wow! Oh, yes. I'm being polite with C because yes! I really my personal experience as of last week was. It was not good. <laughs> All right, D. All right, D. Uh, politics aside, I guess I think there was also stuff with Jimmy John's. We're pulling that out of this just on flavor. Well, okay. Alone. So I also worked at Jimmy John's, yeah. and the owner of Ooh, that Jimmy John's. He was. Thank you for the subs. Hey. Thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. He was a big asshole, and yes, the owner of Jimmy John's is horrible. All of that aside, truly, I had it out here a few times because it wasn't in New York, and I was like, Jimmy John's. I mean, yeah, I miss it. And too. Um, no. Bread's gone way downhill. Oh. Uh, I don't, I, it's free smells. I'll get that for, trust me, I live in Los Angeles. I get free smells. All right. Um, I'm going to go C. I'm wow. actually going lower I than I expected. I thought you were going to go higher than No, that. because it went downhill, but uh, no, I'm going to go B. I, I'm going to go B with it. I would give it a B. firm B, J. But yeah. also the way that there I'm was like, B. well, there were like freaky fast delivery. Yeah, because they only deliver in five feet of area. Mm-hmm. So if you're, God forbid, a block away, they're like, no, you don't get it. So... All right. All right. I, I say B. I'm cool with B. But they don't have any. Oh, duh, there's no. Uh, all right. There's oh. no Zaz. And if you have access to just, just any just, deli, you're better off. It's just But it's better though. than Subway. It's dependable. You know it's it is get better time. than Subway. That's true. Yeah. And it's better than Subway by leagues. I mean, it has to be at least two better than Subway. I mean, I'm surprised I don't see a Jersey Mike's on here because I would almost put that make, at It didn't make the cut. It was. There's not enough of them. Pedophile didn't lose weight to sell it to you. No, no, Danny DeVito sells it to me. Yeah. All right, All right. I'm going I think B is a universe. That's fine. Yeah. They, I mean, as you say, think of the five. Where are we at? Are we getting close? Am I going to actually smoke weed? I, going on? It's still going to be a real rally towards the end. How many yeah. do we have? How many left? Uh, we got 1292. We need 1420 for that good, good dankness. So 128. So 128. That's a lot. Damn, but I'm, I'm willing. I'm willing. All right. That's not, I think that's just simple math. Ten minutes, no. guys. Can we that get it in? I'll, I'll do it. I'll swear to God I'll smoke weed. I don't give a shit about <laughs> oh, it. Oh, wow. No, so God. Whoa. All right. Here we go. KO. 
KFC. Hey, my child's burning in this building. Oh, well, never mind. You're smoking weed. KFC, Ooh. I kind of don't have huge opinions on, it's other than good. I wouldn't say it's like it's super good. high. It's per not se. bad. We're it's talking definitely Kentucky not Fried bad. Chicken. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, I am fine with it, but it's just not a go two for me. I, I don't did know. eat a double down back in the day, and it was horrifying. So yeah, yeah, I, I did actually with our friend Adam Ortz, who's helping us out with the stream, I did a little thing for it was called Kissel Shit List, and I ate a double down. <laughs> I had multiple double downs. And, uh, I remember that. It was the beginning of the end for any sort of class that we had as a country <laughs> or like, <laughs> yes. you know, because that was like, really? That's a thing? However, I have to say KFC has never let me down. Yeah. I also, one of my first okay. gigs Except I ever the got. Down. Well, the I mean, it was what I also name. knew what I was ordering, right? Yeah, it's a thousand island Swiss cheese, bacon, and two fried <laughs> pieces of chicken. Um, I also got paid because I got uh, there's a guy named Jay Billis, and he's a commentator for college basketball, and he needed a body double, and I was like thinner then, and he's my height, so I had to do a KFC commercial, and I saw how the product was being promoted, a little behind the scenes, and they let me keep my suit. That's awesome. Did somebody so, just donated five subs, right? Yeah, yeah. Jay, guarding Jay. gnome. I Thank was just waiting. Gnome. I just didn't Thank want to shut down. This no, I know. No, fascinating that's a great. story. My fascinating it. tale. Uh, KFC. Of my body double work. What we do we get? Thirteen hundred. Hey, um, uh, 120 left. I'll do it. I swear to God, I'll do it. Hold it. No, because the, the whole... doctor said if you see too many <laughs> goblins, you'll die. <laughs> Also, KFC, you know what it does? It brings the family together. There's one bucket. What? Oh, There's okay. one bucket. All right, I'll go um, on that. We, I also, you know what I also like? I like the uh, potato thing that they have. Well, let me ask you this question, because we have it later on in this list. Is it better than Zaxby's? I think that's going to make a, a I difference. I also have to, again, I've, I never like been to, I've never been. I like Zaxby's. I wish I would have known. I would have tried it. I've I, never I, would, I would take Zaxby's over KFC, probably. But that said, what are we doing? I, I leave it to you guys. I don't, uh, I don't have a dog, uh, I don't have a dog I in this I want to say fight. B or C. Oh, I wanted to go A or B. Oh, uh, so B. Should we put a poll? Uh, uh, there's no time. We got we got right. the a McDonald's B. conversation. That sounds alone. like a compromise at B. Then okay. that yeah. sounds like a compromise at B. Okay, okay. All right. Chad is saying a lot of C's and D's. Oh, C's and D's. Interesting. I I don't know. I've just never had a bad KFC experience. Yeah, like, that's the thing. I, I just fried chicken. I mean, you can't yeah. like hey, you were saying. At the end saying, of the day, it's our tier list. Just, okay, at that's true. It's our tier list. Chad is just there to help guide us if we have a true, true. tiebreaker need. All right, uh, you know, I have such a crazy relationship mm. with McDonald's. I was obsessed with it. I ate it at least once a week when I was what? like a In the 90s, kid it was a magical school. world. The, it was the so Happy promise. Meals, and then into my older age, every Monday, I would go straight to McDonald's after school, and I would go, it was a double-decker with a porch outside, and I would eat my quarter-pounder meal, and then I would sm chain smoke cigarettes with my friends, and it was like my absolute favorite tradition that I did through high school. I, 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 I What does this have to do with their food? But I loved the food. I was addicted oh. to it. I would eat it. I thought I, I thought I could do no wrong. I thought it was the best ever. I will say this though. Talk about something that's declined in fucking quality. Yeah. Also, the price. I mean, I had McDonald's at the airport yeah. in Chicago. Kaylee Janey, thank expensive. you for the subs. Hey, thank you so much. And it's gotten more expensive. But again, as I said, the Big Mac, in my personal opinion, is the best of the famous, you know, I don't hate sandwiches. It. I don't hate um, it. I Keep actually ready. sometimes crave a Big Mac. Okay. Um, but and, then and is it totally just cliche I mean, to the give whole it an thing, A? The no, I too. genuinely I, I I mentioned this. I kept kosher for a very long time. McDonald's was the holy grail. McDonald's was this magical place where a clown king reigned and they gave away toys and yep. it was everything that I couldn't be, everything I couldn't have. And when I finally tried McDonald's for the first time, it was disappointing. I felt sick. The Egg McMuffin is pretty good. This is the thing I was I gonna say. Love the, the breakfast, breakfast, the bacon, egg, and cheese. We've had this on the road oh, now with the yeah. uh, return to the uh, release the butthole cut tour. Uh, we've been having them make these breakfasts and talk about a nap giver. If yeah. you want to take a nap, eat two, sure. two, three bacon, egg, and cheese sandwiches. <laughs> two or three. I like the orange juice. I like the fake orange juice. I think it's delicious. And and yeah. drink the orange juice, and you will fucking well, fall asleep. It's orange asleep. juice. It's and, not. Yeah, it's it's real. I mean, it's it's, it's not made not, of oranges, but yeah, yeah. It's, oranges are not. Um, I agree. I love the breakfast. If I stay up super late at night, if I'm up until 6 a.m. and I'm like starved because that night before I had been doing nothing but not eating, um, I, yeah. man, a McDonald's Whoa, breakfast hits. Also, rose gold fishes. Thank you for the 10 subs. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Bro. I'm, go, I'm just going to go. I'm just going to cut to the business here. Just an A. An A right. for a a Also, a. in honor of Tiro. Uh, the clown. Tierzo. Tierzo. Tierzo the clown. Yeah. yeah. Like that's this. approval? That's approval. Yeah. That's Tierzo approval. approval. Yeah. Right. I would bump it down, but honestly, I, you already used my veto, and I can't. Yep, see? All right, when we originally rated Panda Express, people had big issues with us ranking it low. Kissel, do you want to bring it up? We, we initially... I would give it a solid... i just go B simply because they fucking give you a lot. <laughs> And I, if you I are super hungover, it's like slap, slap, slap it on. So I go B. 
So you know what? You know what the issue was, Holden? When I was like, fuck Panda Express. Why would you ever get Panda Express? Right. It's not fast food. There's always other options. Right? But you here's said. the thing. I had a good long talk with friend of the uh, of the network, Mr. Mike Lawrence. Nice. Mm -hmm. And he explained that the idea of just there's like eight Chinese restaurants in your immediate vicinity that all do Chinese food better and quicker and cheaper is a very East Coast, very New York area thing. And right. in a lot of places, yep, true. you cannot get a sesame chicken. You cannot get a General true. Tso's. And Panda Express is it. So like, if that's- For cultural relevance, yeah. yes indeed. So I, I, I now, I understand the plight of those that don't live near a Hunan walk or a Great Wall right. or a or China- Or Sing Hing, remember Sing Hing in Williamsburg? Sing oh my God. All right, all right, we're going B, I'm cool with B. Modern Bard, thank you for the five subs. Nice. Thank Where are we you. at? What's the number? Where are we at? Uh, 1331, 34, Dude, 35, 36, 37, 38. Less than 100, All right. bro. Panera, can I just say D? It's yeah. Master of None. Talk about Jack of All Trades, Master of None. I don't even know what to it's eat. It's not there. the I don't even quote. Know what to get. Jack of All Trades is a Master of None, but it's better than being a Master of None. Well, I, well then Panera, I don't even know what to eat there. I go I there hate and I, I can't even no. I also what they serve. never want a teenager to make me soup. Mm -hmm. Right. I just don't feel comfortable with soup. It is. I never I don't want, want soup. I never want soup. Well, uh, uh, also, uh, the bread wait, sticks, wait, the sandwiches. You've never stick. been in an Oban pan in 1997 and had yourself a goddamn broccoli cheddar and a bread. A broccoli ball. cheddar's uh, great. I I'm don't want to know. Fault you on that one, but I just, I just, I'm never gonna want soup. No. Something a maybe I'm making. A a cozy. There's so many better. I don't understand how Panera nailed. So you're this fighting market. for a higher Panera. No, I'm saying okay. Panera is so bad and it it infuriates me that all the better, vaguely bakery adjacent fancy fast food places are are supplicant. To well, it. we got to move on, Jake. Yeah. I'm going D. Uh, D it is. I think everyone agrees. Popeyes. S. Do you think I Popeyes think is better than KFC? Yes. Let's yes. Right I would go A. I would go Popeyes A. Popeyes A. I say. I mean, what's a better fried chicken? Maybe Zaxby's. I like Zaxby's. I, I don't know if Zaxby's. I can rank it higher. I don't. I don't think I can put Zaxby's. S I'm seeing a lot of S for Papa. All right, I'm going go S. Let's go S. And then also, S. I'm gonna use my veto. I'm just gonna give that Chipotle down to a B. No! I'm sick of it. I've been staring no! at the whole. I've been staring at the whole damn time. I'm Get it out of here. So what? attacked. Get it no, out of here. No, don't do it, Tirso. Get it out of here, Tirso. Please. So. Yeah. I'm Get it done. There it is. All right. Thank you. Sonic, I think, is low, bro. Sonic is low. Oh, oh. Me. People oh, love you for that. Know. Oh, God. Uh, people are so thrilled This is my that. villain arc. This is my goddamn uh, super Sonic, villain origin it's story. It's funny. I actually don't mind Sonic. I gave it a B. I do not like Sonic. It's always been disappointing. Sonic is, I, I, to me, it's the same as Carl's Jr. Hardy's, which is at C. It's, it's, it's fine. And then you I'll, gotta I'll wait for it, the roller skate person. I'll always be like, I wish That's there was not. something else. I'll always be like, I wish there was Burger King or Wendy's or something else that makes Sonic is mid, says Greg the Yeah, Dwarf. Sonic yeah. is so mid. All right, mid. I'm not gonna fight C for it. Sonic is mid. I don't hate Sonic. I'll absolutely eat there, yeah, but it's, it's just fine. mid. I agree. All right. Okay. What is Starbucks fucking D? D. I don't even want to think about it. I don't want to look at Starbucks. Also, there's a Starbucks Domino's combo near us. Ugh. Yeah. What, a what about I'm a Taco at the combination Bell pizza hut? Okay, so Taco Bell, and this is going to be cliche, and I don't give a flame. I love it, man. I love, I love Taco, Taco Bell. Bell. I ate there recently, last um, first time in a while, and I was also, like falling in love with it all over again. They listened it. to the people when we're like, can you bring back our Mexican pizzas, please? And they did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, I go SRA. Um, <laughs> it's just... <laughs> What it's is just, that saying? I'm, I'm I was, sorry, my lovely fiance, uh, Oop Marie, twitch.tv slash Oop Marie, uh, just donated $5 for like a super chat to say, Baja, my brain right up. There you Let's go. go, Taco Bell. Let's go, S. All right, Fuck I'm, I'll fucking go, Also, S. Handsome Zorch, thank you for the five subs. Thank you, The dude. thing about Taco Bell is they give you so many options. So it's like the, the, the Chipotle, uh, the, uh, the not the Chipotle, the Chalupa is so good. Mm -hmm. And even though they fired me when I was 16, <laughs> it's all right. Also, it's not on, Mexican food. I don't think you were a bottle fucking employee, No, it was bro. horrible. It was it's horrible. Taco Bell. <laughs> it's right. its own thing, and yeah, they it mastered is. it. We're going to get, it all right, is. so we're going S for Taco Bell. I'm cool with that. Uh, if McDonald's is A, Wendy's is A. Uh, Wendy's is Wendy's is A. That's a. fine. Wendy's is A. Even I'm though the cool. chili is I, disgusting, but they used to have a buffet that I really liked. I like the fries. You get a baked potato. Where else can you get a goddamn like, baked potato? I, I like agree. the burger. I, I lived across the street from a Wendy's in college, and I was literally addicted to it. Like so, Baconator, yeah, cool. you can't go wrong. Yeah, it's yeah. solid. I, yeah, no complaints. No uh, complaints. 
And people like the baked potato. Yeah, the baked potato, right? What a burger! I'm gonna give it a C just because I find it to be Whoa. a little overrated. People, it's, you know what? I'm it hearing is this overrated a lot lately, dude. I'm I think the same way about In and Out, though. That. I think the it, same way about In and Out. I'm like, it's fine. I don't know. It is overrated, but we did a show in Austin, and afterwards there was nothing else open oh, but the Water Burger. Did it work? And it was we delicious. Hammered. That's it a did, B. That it I delivered tr- exactly yeah, what it needed to be. Don't take it into account if it's good when you're hammered. That's the job. JD Panda, thank you for an additional ten subs. You got it. Where we at? Am I, am I smoking the sweet at the end? 1367, 74, it's 78. So, so close. We're so, so close. close. We're going to go a few minutes extra, and then we got to get out of here. If you get those fucking subs well, in, we only I will have, smoke weed. We only have Zaxby's left. We have Zaxby's left. All right. Well, I don't even know what to do with this one because, again, Kiss Lesson had it. Uh, I know. Uh, we should have gone about? over that. I have fond memories of Zaxby's. I don't necessarily have, like, oh my God, my penis is exploding. Is it the memories? South that has the Zaxby's? I then, think or? they. I'm putting this to a poll because I also don't have that much Zaxby's Since you kind of can't say Zaxby's not in a southern accent. Zaxby's. It, it, yeah, Zaxby's. I think well, it's Well, if it's southern. more fried chicken, you're can, again, you can never go wrong. What's up? With so, fried chicken. Big, big, subs big subs dropping? Big subs Where dropping. Where we at? That Bruce dude with 10. Thank, Thank you. The you. Ten. Where are we at? How many more? I, um, I I have the Zaxby's pull up. I can't <laughs> see. Also, Holden, you do have another veto. Because Popeye's Taco Bell, oh, Bojangles, Culver, Five Guys. I'm saving the veto, my friend. Is that, oh, you're going to mess with me. I can uh, already yeah, I'm tell. I'm fucking with you for sure, Do dude. not mess. Do uh, not put that fine. Chipotle back up there. Ultimate if you put that Chipotle Coma, back up there. Another 10 subs. Oh, my God. It's happening. What's the number at? Where are we at? 1,400. We're 20 away from the Oh my God! Twenty away. Can you believe it? Holden's Miracle. gonna do the very possible. Tears, so save us! Wow. Hey, p- pop can Holden possibly oh, oh, do it? Oh, 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 Is we're Holden able to do up? it? All right. If, wow. well, by the way, time this with vetoing. Chipotle's going to, to A, bitches. <sighs> what? Chipotle is Buddy, going you're not gonna get us yes. our subs if you just go against every single thing that every single person wants. <laughs> Wait, pull oh, it back. Tears pull it are back. Tears are smoking oh weed. Oh my God. Tears so smoking Can weed. Can clouds do that? Wow. Or are they wow. Yeah. Good job, Tears so. That's amazing. All Ooh. right. Did we just wow. hit it? Did we just hit it? Uh, we're, it's, everything's happening so fast. Zaxby's. All right. Give it it. All right. There we you go. Thank it. you, guys. <laughs> Here's the alien bong. There you go. Thank you so much. No and, problem, and get my that boy. Air balloon out. I just, I'm oh, yeah. Hold it. late to A. Wow. Done. How do you wow. even do this? How do you even do this? As X? If you don't oh, no, know. no, 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 no. Oh, God. yeah, yeah. Do it near Holden. He deserves it. Yeah, put it up. Oh, All right. All right, Zaxby's. Are we going B for Zaxby's? Fine. I just, whatever. As long as. I think it's the same as KFC. Greasy Dirtbag. So, Thank fine. you for the five subs. There was a bunch of wow, other gifts well, I could not see. On S, one of those things does not belong. So you're making Chipotle A, not yeah. S. Uh, I'm bringing it to A as okay, a compromise, you as, as a respect all to right. you and everybody in chat. All right. Man, I feel bad for the person who has to eat D all day. <laughs> there you go. And then C, not quite as bad. B, that's not a bad that's day. A, that's a not, uh, yeah. B is not a bad day. I'm happy with any of that on a road trip. A yep. is crushing it. And yep. I'm surprising us here, to be quite honest, but I don't fucking disagree. It's, yeah. I love it. I mean, right. whatever. There we're you go. I, th- I was like, no we're great solid. upset. It's we're great upset. In. It's done. All right, y'all. Thank you All so right. much for Thank you guys. Here's a clown. Thank you for hitting that fucking sub goal. Thank Let's you guys. Let's take it to 2,000, motherfuckers. <laughs> All right, y'all. We'll be back. What's the next show? Uh, we've got uh, Hoopa Goo Goo next. Hoopa, Hoopa Goo Goo. And then don't forget, we got live round table. we got a live last stream on the left as well. Oh, uh, yeah. So that'll be fun. See y'all later. <laughs> oh, All right. So. Bye. 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 Being. Tears are you're so sad. <laughs> Aww. <laughs> It's a hoopa goo goo game, baby. How you doing? I'm your host, Ed Larson. This is a brighter side offshoot show that is premiering today just for you folks. Now, thank you for coming out to the hoopa goo goo time, and let's meet our contestants today. Um, Miss, we have first here. We have Natalie Jean, hailing from Pittsburgh, PA. Uh, how are you doing today? And I heard. A, a tale that you had to, um, we, earlier today on The Good Pud, uh, there was a cheeseburger pudding, and uh, you were in charge of bringing that to the studio, That's correct? That's I'm going to have to tell. I have to talk about the pudding? Yes, the pudding. Well, the pudding was very popular. <laughs> and everyone's very happy about the cheeseburger pudding. And uh, how was it? You, you took it in the car? Yeah. And uh, they were, everybody was trying to gaslight themselves that it was a deconstructed hamburger. Mm-hmm. 
No, it wasn't. No, it wasn't. It's not fine dining. It popped open in the car, and I almost threw up from just the smell. But then Holden ate it. That's very beautiful. Ah. That's very beautiful. And if you haven't noticed, Natalie is a wonderful aerialist. Um, you've been hanging in a hoop all day today. How are you feeling? I'm feeling hoopa googly. Yes! Oh, that is an immediate advantage. Spent the entire day in a hoop, right before the hoopa googoo game. Yeah. And how is the circulation? It was. Uh, it doesn't mess with you at all. When I saw you sitting on the hoop, I was like, <laughs> my legs would go numb. I mean, I, I might just, like, face plant, but it's up to you guys to save my life. So. All right. You heard it. We got a medic. I should have mentioned that earlier. I appreciate that. That's yeah. all right. We hired someone for that. And num our next contestant, the wonderful, my partner, my partner in crime for got to be a decade now. Um, I love you with all my heart. Miss Amber Nelson, hailing from Saudi Arabia. That's right. Everyone, wow. uh, give it up for Amber Nelson. How are you doing today? Hi. I'm doing wonderfully. I was almost sprayed by a skunk last night, Ooh. but I survived. Ooh, I wonderful. Survived. You know, if you ever get sprayed by a skunk, catch up. Catch up, and I think I should just get giant tens of tomato juice in yeah, my apartment. Just in case, because the skunk's case. coming back. It's coming back, and it's around. I've yet to call animal control, and I think it might have had a little girlfriend because I've seen them, like, making love and fighting. Whoa. Oh, so wow, that's skunk? a much better yes. show than this. <laughs> um, and also, uh, I have to say, uh, how are the noodles? Or if you were tuning in for the entire time, uh, it started with uh, Marcus on synth with a silver surfer mask and Amber eating noodles. I was able to provide you with some hot water. Thank you. But how were the noodles? Disgusting. Disgusting? Yeah, yeah. It's too early for noodles. <laughs> yes, and I have And you bought the spicy ones. I don't know why I did that. I was like, mm, spicy, perfect for 10 a.m. <laughs> <laughs> right uh, in the pool. Right in the pool. But um, I haven't had ramens in a quite a long time, and I will say I can't believe I survived college. Oh, yeah. you mean like yeah. the packaged kind? Because yeah, that fr fresh ramen is. Of course. Oh yeah. Well, that's you know that's a nice thing, but we don't treat ourselves well. Speaking no. of not treating yourself well, S Travis Irvine is here, a uh, former candidate for governor in Ohio. Mm. Um, you were running for the, uh, with which party were you running with? Oh, some ridiculous third party that never has a chance. There you yeah, go. Yeah, there yeah, you go. Course. And you got how many votes? 80,000 votes. That's a good, that's a, that's <laughs> that's a, a stadium full that's of a people. Football, yeah, it's a football a stadium of full of people. That's Way amazing. too many people. Absolutely. <laughs> I'm very happy. And um, if you didn't know, Travis has spent most of the day in the spider hut today. Yes. Um, he's been in there for his punishments, but we let him out to be a part of the Hoopa Goo Goo game. How is the spider hut? Um, is there any any notes to should we make it nicer oh um, are the spiders nice the spiders are great and you know i came here today to hang out with my friends but now i've got new spider friends <laughs> and <laughs> i really like that very Hopefully valuable i get bit by one uh, by the end of the day i get some superpowers you know That's what's right. great about spiders the eggs. Oh, oh my God! Oh, I love, those eggs. I love the eggs. Yeah. There's ev eggs it's everywhere. Like sweet mm. caviar. Oh yeah. Spider omelet. So these are our wonderful contestants. We'll be playing three rounds of Hoopa Goo Goo. Three questions each round. Um, but in judging them today are our wonderful judges. Oh. Uh, the MJ Neffel. How are you doing today? I'm doing very well. Thank you. You look for very. Me. You look wonderful. You look ready to judge. Thank you. You see, you're, I, I wanted you for the judge position because I always thought of you as a very judge mental person yeah oh. yeah oh, wow. that's true yes. wow. and so what if you were to ju uh, <laughs> if judging these people for with no with with no bias right now um who is um who's most likely to lose you think uh Ouch. really starting off antagonistic right mm. away um who is most likely to lose I'm sorry, T.I. Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm looking right yeah. at you. Yeah, it's no, I know. Be Travis. I'm ready to go. Back to the what spider hut. Say, yeah. you know, yeah. And our other wonderful judge, Mr. Micah Sherman. You might remember him from the round table of gentlemen, Woo! a regular guest, Shermanator Sherm. Wow. Uh, thank you for joining us today. I ran. I was doing therapy in the street, and I, I, I walked right <laughs> up to Micah. And it was it was and I, luckily it was a good session, and uh, it was it was great to see you. And uh, I'm so happy to have you here now. Oh, it's always great to see you, Ed, and a happy hoopa goo goo to you too. Thank oh. you very much. Well, I got chased by a pack of wild coyotes one time. Really? Oh. Yeah, yeah. And the brighter side of that was that I really got to uh, enjoy the animals and the wildlife of Los Angeles, everything that it has to offer. That's right. Pretty furry, and uh, I'm safe now. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Coyotes, you sure you weren't downtown on Skid Row? <laughs> <laughs> ah, well, all right, all right. So now we're going to go start the. We're starting our game in our first round. I have a bell here. I'm going to do a timer on my phone, and then I got Chad over here. So if Chad ever wants to talk to us, I'll be looking here. Well, if, a little bit here. Perfect radio voice. They said for you, Micah. By the way, oh. we got some Shermanator Sherms. Oh. Um, also, you know. This is the subathon. We're looking to hit our next goal of 1,666. Um, we have producers in the back. They'll keep me posted. Uh, once we hit that goal, we'll, we'll have a big party, and then we'll take it back out to the pool. Guys, I love you very much. Um, contestants, um, I'll be asking you a question. The first round is summer-themed. Okay, it's summer-themed. Also, our the most recent podcast, Hoopa Goo Goo, which is the final one because this is officially becoming a Twitch show now. Oh. Um, we, it, the whole thing was summer-themed. It was with the great Adam and Sam Wirtz. Uh, it was a great way to close out because Sam was there when we created the game Hoopa Goo Goo. Wow. Back when it didn't even have a name. It was a Hoopa Goo Goo Nunu. -nu. It's just... It was just syllables yeah, what is the mixed full together. Name? This, this right now is the Hoopa Goo Goo game. Oh, you're mm. shortening it. What's it called? Hoopa well, Goo Goo? It Hoopa had Goo many Goo? forms, <laughs> many names. You know, the whole thing is you just stick with it and you, you, you just you, you, you make noises. Mm. But now it has an official name. We're doing it right. You right, settled so. on a good one. Um, does it mean anything? Oh, yeah, it means this game. Great. And, uh, wow. Which wow. is a totally free game that feel free to play it at home with your families. Um, if you're stuck, snowed in a cabin, rained in, it's a great way to get to know each other and everyone stays positive. And that's one thing I know about hanging out with families. you got to keep it positive. Gosh. Um, okay. All right. So mm -hmm. summer themed, mm -hmm. you have 20 seconds or less oh. to uh, answer each of the questions. And once you hit 20 seconds, you'll hear... Ooh. This bell. All right. Okay. So know that. Wow. Um, we are going to be this first uh, round. We'll start off with Natalie. Um, okay. All right. So this is summer themed Hoopa Goo Goo. Twenty seconds or less. Tell me what is the brighter side of you are a camp counselor at Kanye's summer camp. You are a camp counselor oh, no. at <laughs> Kanye's summer camp. What is the brighter side of that? Twenty seconds or less. Right. Natalie, go. Uh, you will gain ability to uh, escape very uncomfortable situations because mm. you're probably going to need to get out and you're going to have to use your wiles and use the land mm -hmm. to be able to get out of that arena. Um, 20 seconds, 20 seconds. That's it. You know, it's strict over here today. You know, usually in the podcast, we let you go today. We're, we're, we're being strict. All right, Amber. Okay. Um, you are a camp counselor at Kanye's summer camp. I would simply kill myself and become the Michael Myers of the Kanye summer camp, mm. Mm. and then that way all of these rich That's little children one. get scared for the rest of their lives. Thank you. Wow, wow. ten seconds, not bad. Yeah. I will say Jason Voorhees, Jason Voorhees. was the Ooh. is the summer camp killer. I those so I guys disqualified. Up. Answer. I, don't know if disqual I mean, it's still you could be Mike Myers at a summer camp. I just threw you know, up. If, they, if they had one in Haddonfield, you know, it could happen. It's, I'm not saying it's impossible. Mm -hmm. I'm just saying you know. He's not. He doesn't go into I the forest. You know what would you call? Up. What do you call a dog in a hockey mask? <laughs> what? Jason Fournies. We did that joke Whoa. earlier. All right, uh, Travis, bark, bark. Um, you are a camp counselor at Kanye summer camp, and you're dressed for it also. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. Well, I think the brighter side of that, Ed, would be that uh, I would get a job with uh, Kanye West presidential campaign. Uh, obviously, I know how to get 80,000 votes at least, so at that point, we actually win. Kanye West becomes president, and then boom, I'm secretary of good times in the Kanye West administration for at least... A couple months. Wow. A couple months. Wow. wow. All right. It's all right. Good times. It's the best spot. It's the best spot might you be can get. With, uh, that's Mike, like Mike Myers. It might be better. <laughs> <laughs> right. We have Is our that Hunter Biden's son. Yeah, <laughs> that's Hunter that would be my job. Good times? Yep, just May good we times. all be judged by the worst person in our family. <laughs> <laughs> um, all right, Micah. Uh, what would you, who are you picking? Who are you giving out your one point to? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with Travis on this one. Uh, very uh, realistic, a good networking opportunity, right. um, and um, like I said, realistic. Uh, it's probably only gonna be for a couple months. Yeah. Whether the administration lasts longer than a couple months is 
yet to be seen, but definitely your position will only last for a couple months. <laughs> because you. the country would end after a couple months. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Inability oh, yeah. to yeah. sustain itself. Mm -hmm. right, yeah. MJ, you got one point to give out. Where's it going? I am sorry, and you're welcome, Amber. It is yours. You are going to have to become undead. Thank um, you. Which is a sacrifice we have to be willing to make. Michael Myers at summer camp is the... I don't want you to be Jason. I want you to be Michael Myers. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I, right. Michael Myers. Let him branch out. Very yeah. cool. Right. Yeah. And you know what? I could. I think I could change him. Yeah, yeah. I think yeah. you can too. Yeah. I think you can too. I think I no one knows If anybody you could, you'd mm -hmm. yeah. But you have to live in Illinois. Oh, yeah. Illinois. Get out of there. Get out of there. <laughs> All right. Next one. Our Hoopa Goo Goo for one point. Um, we'll go Amber first on this round. We just hit 1,500 subs. We just hit 1,500 subs. We're going to dance. Show your butts. Show your butts. We got 1,500 subs. Show butts. Oh, I'm going to show my butt. Show your butt. So you end up in the spider hut, Ed. All right. We're starting off with Amber on the second one. Um, all right. Summer themed Hoopa Goo Goo. Second question of the first round. A bull shark bites your leg off. A bull shark bites your leg off. Amber, brighter side, 20 seconds or less. Oh my God, I get on 60 minutes and I cry and make a bunch of money. Hello, <laughs> like a bull shark bit my leg off, but I'm so brave. <laughs> and I got on that board again and I'm gonna skateboard. Again on the ocean, and you can't <laughs> stop me, and it's just me with my one leg and like maybe metallic leg. I would get so much applause. Thank you. Very nice, wow. very nice. Good. Good full answer. Good full, you know, the shark is also full. Travis, a bull shark. <laughs> bull shark. Not a tiger shark. Huh? Not a mako. Okay. Not a great white. A right. bull shark. Bull most shark. likely, it's most. That is the shark you're most likely to get attacked from. By the really? way. Really? Yeah, and they can live into. Fr they can live in freshwater for up to two years. What? what? Are they little that? tiny guys? No, they're, they're big they're fuckers. Big yeah, they get real big. They're real angry. They're called bull shark. It's yeah. a scary name. Yeah, they can live. In, in, back in the early 1900s, they infested the rivers of New Jersey. And then they were attacking people in the rivers. No one knew how to what? stop it. No one thought that sharks would be in the rivers. Oh so a bull God. shark, they, they're very, you can see them in an estuary. You see them in the intercoastals. Sometimes they'll, they'll All even... right, I'll ask. How do you know how, so much Wait about bull sharks? Yeah. I lived in Florida. Wow. wow. In New Jersey. And yeah, New Jersey. New Jersey. That's Great. right. That's right. All right, so Travis, a bull shark yeah. bites your leg off. All right, well, you know, it's going to be goodbye to that leg, but it's going to be hello, book deal, Jaws 5, Peter Benchley's son and daughter approve of me writing Jaws 5. He's dead. And yeah, I know. He's dead, but his son and daughter are very much alive. Uh -huh. And then I become a millionaire off of the book deal. Steven Spielberg, who made my favorite movie ever, Jaws, taps me to b direct Jaws 5. Whoa. Oh, All thank right. you so Time's much. Time's up, Travis. Yes. Thank you. Um, oh. Please strike. Um, uh, get him to direct Jaws 5 yep. from your. Uh, Unhear it. Yes, you can you. unring Unhear that bell. It. It seemed like the whole answer. Yeah, well, I mean, you, you can, yeah, pretty much. Well, I had yeah, to yeah. defend my stance on Peter Benchley's kids. <laughs> yeah, apparently the book sucks. Your yeah, the book sucks. Yeah. Yeah. The movie is way better than the book. Jaws book? The Jaws what? book. Is this like describing the ocean? It describes the Fuck ocean. That. The the shark <laughs> barely uh, bites anybody. Uh, <laughs> Sheriff oh, Brody so and his, his wife ocean. has an affair with uh, Richard Dreyfuss' she character. She would never do that In the book, yeah. she oh does. Oh, wow. my God. That's a nightmare. Anybody read Jaws 3, the book? Not great either. Not great. Oh, Jaws in the movie also. Yeah. Not to, not well, that. you got to read it with the 3D glasses. It's, I mean, it, you did. You put Jaws <laughs> in SeaWorld, and it still sucked. I don't get it. Yeah. Natalie, a bull shark bites you. This is going to be hard. You're a ballerina. You know, this is this is a lot harder for you than the rest of us. The rest yeah. of us could just sit and podcast forever. But you're a dancer. <laughs> you're a ballerina. You know, the, your, your life, you know, you're an aerialist. You need that. Although the aerial, it might actually help with the aerialism because you'll be lighter. You're, you're, you can't give me answers. All right. A bull shark. Bites your leg off. I wish that I knew what a bull shark was, because I feel like it would really help us answer, and it seems very important that it's a bull shark. But I was going to say, uh, you can store stuff. It's obviously easier to have biomech body parts that's way better than skin and flesh and bone. Mm. You can ha you can smuggle drugs in there. Oh. You can uh, bounce higher. You can use it as a gun. <laughs> That is your time. Nice. Very Good nice. nice. Good That's answer. Good. You Good can answer. smuggle drugs in your fake leg, and if someone asks to see, hey, are there drugs in your fake leg? You say, you don't. You yeah. don't. Don't. How dare you. How dare you. And then you show them your leg gun. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yep. Yeah. 
And then you get on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> you get on the plane. <laughs> I mean, you get a, maybe get a weapon easier on a plane. All yeah, because right. they're going to feel so embarrassed to be like, you're going to have to take off your leg and turn it upside down, make sure there's no guns in there. Yeah. Right. right. And that's a bull shark. Ooh, spooky. That's big. It's big. Yeah, they wow. get up to like 17 feet. Wow. So I, I think it would be nice to <laughs> clean cut. Yeah, you, you know, be like you know so much about no, bull yeah, sharks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a brighter side. You know well. so yeah. much about bull sharks. Like, yeah, yeah. That was so specific. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they get up to right? seventeen right? feet. Yeah. He is Florida man. Yeah, yeah. Of course, right. Florida man you know. raised in New Jersey. Wait, side note uh, as well. It's also a really fun fun fact for stunts. A lot of times in horror movies, if you are missing a limb, you get to be put into those scenes where it looks like you're oh, being ripped apart. Right, wow. right, right. Like you're a zombie. Like not part of her answer, by the way. Not part of her answer. Not part of her answer. Unheard. All right, MJ. You have one point to give out. Where is it going? Natalie, this one's for you. Wow. I like smuggling drugs and guns in the leg. I, I know you do. Great, yeah. Yes, I've always wanted stuff. to be able to smuggle mm-hmm. guns directly through airport security, <laughs> and so I think yeah. that you you got this one. There you go. Thank you. Right. I almost smuggled a hammer through airport security, oh. and they did not like that at all. Oh. <laughs> 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 oh. Yeah, don't bring Guess a hammer. Whose hammer is this? I remember yeah. my my. Uh, I went to the 9/11 <laughs> museum with my mother and her horrible boyfriend one time, and he brought a knife. Wow. And I was like, don't you know that's how this all started? <laughs> and uh, But, you know, what do you, you know, I digress. Uh, one point taken away from Ed for bringing up 9 11 music. I'll add it that back, Ed. Yeah. Oh, back Thank you very much. Wow. Yeah. All right. All right. right. Never Not forget, even. used to belong to the elephants. All right, coming in, uh, Micah. I'm, I'm going to go with Amber on this one. Wow. Yeah, I really, really like the angle of getting in there at 60 Minutes, making a lot of money from the appearance on yeah. 60 Minutes. That's right. Maybe taking over uh, Andy Rooney's old position. I'm Andy Rooney. I'm upset. Just, I'm just really complaining that. about America until you die. But that's great. Like yeah. sexy Andy Rooney. I, thank you. Yeah. Sexy Andy oh, Rooney. Sexy. That's my new Twitter name. Hey, oh, Andy wow. Rooney was sexy. Come on. Yeah. yeah. Those eyebrows were good. <laughs> very, right. very thick. Is he right. still alive? No. No. He's dead. No. No. He's dead. no. 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 Do you think he's in heaven or hell? Chat, let me know. Is Andy Rooney in heaven <laughs> or hell? Right in the chat. Purgatory. Purgatory. Yeah, purgatory. Yeah, purgatory. <laughs> he seems, he seems I don't get it. Yeah, I don't get purgatory. Heaven or hell. <laughs> for the judge. <laughs> All right, folks. Last question of the first round. All right, last question of the first round. Travis, mm. we're going to be starting with you. Okay. Okay. You're on a road trip. This is summer themed. Ooh. You're on a road trip, right. and your car breaks down at the Texas Chainsaw House. Yeah. Oh. Okay. You're on a road trip, so and good. your car breaks down right in the driveway okay. of the Texas Chainsaw House. Yeah. 20 seconds or less. What's the brighter side? Well, I go knock on the door like any good uh, uh, unsuspecting person, mm-hmm. and then I go in there. I eat a delicious meal with the family, <laughs> right? It's a family meal. Uh, they serve it up, and then uh, I, I assume they're going to let me leave. <laughs> if they don't, I assume they'll chop off my leg. I write Texas Chainsaw Massacre 5. I get a book oh, deal. Right. I get the movie oh, deal, and right. Steven Spielberg oh. allows me to direct. T- t- okay, you get it. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> Natalie, you're up next. You're on a road trip and your car breaks down at the Texas Chainsaw House. 20 seconds or less. It's one of my favorite horror movies. I know all about their psychology. I feel like I can help the family. I get in there. I teach them about yoga, uh, transcendental meditation, yes. and then we go on a road trip and then we have a book deal. Whoa. Whoa. What a great answer. <laughs> the All uh, right. Okay, and Amber, you're on a road trip. And your car breaks down at the Texas Chainsaw House. You know what? I like mayonnaise. And I'm thinking that they're going to have, like, all kind of pasta <laughs> salads on that table. I'm thinking potato pasta salad. Oh, yeah. I'm oh, thinking, no. like, macaroni salad. Mm-hmm. Maybe a little mm-hmm. hot mayonnaise sandwich Ooh. with a little tomato mm-hmm. on it. That mm-hmm. might sound like a little, mm-hmm. the, like a delightful little last meal mm-hmm. right before he hacks me up. And if he hacks me up and have mayonnaise all inside of me, I'm probably going to squirt... Mayonnaise blood. <laughs> 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 Unhear mayonnaise blood. Mayonnaise blood came after the bell. Okay, thank oh, you. Sorry. Nice. And um, oh, I, uh, a special shout out to Handsome Zorch for uh, gifting uh, 10 subs. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you, Handsome Zorch. Zorch. I appreciate you, thank and you. we will see you on the other side. That mm. is death. <laughs> All right. Uh, MJ, where is your point going this for this round? It's here? been hard for me to focus this whole round. Eddie, do you remember the Big Fat Scary where you guys were playing Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and I was so high. I got very upset. So <laughs> Big wow. Fat Scary is a show
show that Henry, Ben, and I used to do in New York where we would show horror movies and talk over them. And we did uh, Texas Chainsaw one time, and <laughs> MJ got very upset. I was just curled up in a ball in the back. I had never seen the first it before. Oh, yeah, that's an upsetting first view. Yes, yeah. and they're just cackling, you know, just <laughs> laughing hysterically. Very, <laughs> very. very it's a horror movie. It. There's barely a, a drop of blood in it, but it feels like you see everything. Yeah. yeah. Oh, but it's like psychological. Shout out to Misa995 for subbing with Prime. Thank you. Oh. Um, Fuck Jason Bezos. <laughs> my point is going to Travis. I want you both to get the book deal, but I like your optimism. <laughs> Maybe they won't kill you. Right, right. Good dinner. Mm-hmm. I don't think they would kill you in this outfit because no. the American, the, the, that family feels like very American pride. Mm. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think they would look at one, look at your outfit and be like, this boy's good. Right, yeah. yeah. Uh, the three most American things. Texas, Chainsaw, Massacres. Right. Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, very true. Okay. That's true. Mm-hmm. Micah, you oh, have one point dark. to give that's out? That's why you get the point. Where are you sending it? You know, I, I got to go with Natalie on this one. I like the passion she spoke with about the movie itself and I can't get the image of Leatherface and Downward Dog out of my head. I think it'll heal him. And Natalie <laughs> constantly changing his uh, his pose and going, you have to put the chainsaw to the side. Yeah. yeah. You have to put the chainsaw to the side. Step one. Yeah, namaste. Yeah. I like that namaste. restorative nature of your answer. You yeah. want to heal them. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So point goes to? Natalie. Natalie, yeah. wonderful. Love All it. right, that is a great first round. Um, shout out to Ben is Baked Beans for gifting a couple uh, subs. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. And let's hear a point total on the first round. We got the great Natalie Jean with two points. Oh. We got Travis Irvine with two points. And oh. Amber Nelson with two points. Wow. It's like we didn't even need to play. Wow. All right. That's so the right. soccer game. We better get. All right. Thank you, um, Riffenstein, for your uh, sub. Yeah, you guys, come on in. You get the subs. You hang around for a month. You see all the cool shit coming. September's going to be unbelievable with everything we're doing here oh. at the LPN Lit. Studio. It's going to be gas. This is going to be great. I hope you guys are enjoying yourselves. Are you ready for round two? Yes. Woo. All yeah. right, round two is coming up right now, and the point, and we're going to be doing three points each. Oh, we're immediately right. we're, we're jumping it up. What was the point of the first round? It's to be the for, to have. Let's a, just a forget that round. ever happened. Well, yeah, oh. now it doesn't. It, honestly, you know what? You're right, Micah. Wow. Let's Whoa. cross it all out. Back Crossing all out. it all out. Everyone's all out. at zero. Right. Race sure your zero. minds. Three points each. Okay. All right. Three points each. This round is family reunion themed. Ooh. I had a family Ooh. reunion last week, and it was wonderful. Okay. Uh, and so, yeah, and so I. I wanted to I wanted to make sure that I did a family reunion themed hoopa goo goo round. Are you ready? Yes. Who wants to go first this round? I'll go. All right, oh, Natalie wow. Jean, you shit your pants in front of the children. <laughs> uh, you shit your pants in front of the children. Twenty seconds or less. Why that's a good thing? I I mean that's the least scary place to shit your pants. They mm-hmm. would just think it was funny, and then you could make jokes about it, and you bond with them, and they would grow up. And when they were having uh, you know, problems figuring out their identity when they were older. They would come to you and talk to you about it. Mm-hmm. Wow. Very nice. Whoa. In 15 seconds. All right. Love that. Um, Amber, you shit your pants in front of the children 20 seconds or less. Um, you know what? I love children, mm-hmm. but sometimes I got to have a little me time. So when I shit my <laughs> pants, then I'm like, sorry, kids. And then I go clean up and I go smoke weed. I go oh, have yeah. a beer. And kids, are, they're going to be right. I shit my pants. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So it's just me. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, That's beautiful. Thank it you. It really is gorgeous. All right. Self-care. Travis. Self-care. I know you, you, he's the only one speaking from experience, I believe. Yeah. In this, um, uh, you shit your pants in front of the children. Yes. 20 seconds or less. What do you got? Well, this happens at every family reunion for me. So mm-hmm. this is nothing new. <laughs> We're from I, Ohio, right? Yeah, I'm from Ohio. So every year we do this. I shit myself in front of the kids. <laughs> they shit themselves. And then the adults are like, well, we got to fit in. They shit themselves we all start throwing the shit at each other and next thing you know everyone's got their clothes off we're all fucking right there the <laughs> family <laughs> union, and there we are and that's what we call the what? aristocrat what oh. just happened oh. thank you so much no thank it's you. a hype train. train chugga chugga train. chugga train. chugga train. chugga train. Chugga train. Chugga train. All right, uh, shout out to Beep. Bjorn Bergman for gifting some subs and Flame Alita. Thank you very much. All right, MJ. Who do you think had the best answer for shitting their pants in front of children? This is this is getting harder. Um, I do think that I've got to go with Amber. 
That was a good one. I think, good points to I think the self-care aspect is important <laughs> because children are wonderful, and also you do need to get away from them every 20 minutes. Are you going to take this home with you as a lesson for yourself? Yeah, I can, I'll right. keep it in my back pocket. If I need to escape the kids sometimes, you need a break, shit yourself. Shit yourself. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's right. And, it, and But you were right, Natalie. They would love it. Yeah. My yeah. kids love the shit The least jokes. people I'd be... I'd I would be so embarrassed almost every other kind of person but yeah. children. No, you're right. This was a tough, it was tough. This was a tough choice. Sorry, okay. Travis. Thank you. Um. <laughs> um, Micah, where are your three points going? Natalie Splatterly and I are in alignment here. It's wow. a great opportunity to bond with children. Yeah. Children yeah. shit their pants. I shit my pants. We're the same. Yep. Let's hang out. Yeah. Absolutely. Yep, that's great. I'm I was looking that you gave for it to her. take a slide down the slip and oh, slide. Oh, yeah, yeah. But yeah. all those <laughs> answers will do. Um, all right. Um, so Natalie went first. We'll go Amber. Uh, you'll start this round off. Okay. Okay. Someone put raisins in the chicken salad. Someone put raisins mm. in the chicken salad. 20 seconds or less, Amber. I'm just going to call it Italian. Because Italians put currants in their food. Mm. And if you're high class like me in my leopard print dress, you'd know that. So, you know, it's like it's an Italian chicken salad. And honestly, I know this sounds white trash of me. I don't mind a raisin every now and then. Ants on a mm. log, totally fine. Healthy. Mm. It's good for you. Mm. That's my answer. Thank you. Nice. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Well, Thank you. Sounds great. Mm. All right. Travis, yeah. someone put raisins in the chicken salad. Someone put raisins in the chicken salad. How are you dealing with this? 20 seconds or less. Well, you know, I appreciate what Amber said about the ants on a log because I would pre uh, pretend that these raisins are bugs and I'd be like, oh my God, this chicken salad has bugs in it. Who made this? And it was probably Aunt Deborah, right? It's oh. always Aunt Deborah. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, Aunt Deborah, you put bugs in the chicken salad. Aunt Deborah, you're no longer allowed at the Irvine family reunion. You're banned. I'm going to go shit myself again. <laughs> beautiful answer. Beautiful answer. Was looking for Aunt Deborah. You put ants, ants in, in the, the chicken. Oh. That was my next oh, yeah. bit, but I thought you were about to ring the bell. I, you know, it's fine. We'll uh, still a quality answer. Natalie, someone put raisins in the chicken salad. What are you going to fucking do about it? It's so hard because I don't eat chicken salad or chicken or anything. So I don't, I guess it's bad to put raisins in it. Is that what we're going with? Uh, uh, I don't have to eat it, and also if you eat it, you uh, you get vitamins probably from the grapes, and uh, uh, you can call it a deconstructed peanut butter and jelly sandwich. That's right. Yeah, there you go. That is actually a legitimately good answer. That's a legit I like that a lot. Okay, um, Micah, you got three points. Where are you giving it? Well done, Amber. Thank Absolutely. You. What is chicken Powerful. salad? Cut up chicken and mayonnaise. Mm -hmm. What makes it high class? Raisins, baby. That's right, wow. Italians. Oh, Italian. <laughs> Italian style. Yep. <laughs> Is this a thing that people do that's bad? I think it's, it's northern. So people love it. People put some, on the food put some cut up celery in there too, and uh, right? yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. I All don't right. mind a little bit of walnuts. Chicken it's fun. Sometimes they put, put walnuts walnut in there. Yeah. 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 MJ, where are your points going to? My points are going to Travis for the raisins or bugs. Yes. Wow. Right. Yeah, yeah. That, that was the one I was gonna go with. Yeah. Took it. The raisins are bugs. The raisins are bugs. Put some paprika on top. Yeah. Always put it. Paprika. I don't That's know what Italian. The paprika goes with the raisins. Right? Fuck a raisin and it's stupid fun. Ed, you don't like <laughs> wow. raisins? I mean, I like them by themselves, but not when right. you mix them with anything else. Really? Did you say fuck a raisin in its stupid butt? That's yeah. what I said. Yeah. Did say that. Thank you. Eddie, but do you like <laughs> grapes? I love grapes. Oh. Yeah, the same thing. That's just a younger but raisin. Actually, you know thing. what? Grapes are fine. Yeah. The grapes are fine. Grapes are fine. Because a, a fresh you know apricot what? is good, but a dried apricot, not good. I love okay. a dried apricot. Are you kidding me? Grapes kill dogs, just so you guys know. They do. So keep your do grapes by your dog. Grapes chocolate, too. Guns. Don't feed chocolate to a dog. Dark chocolate. Guns Don't feed dark guns. chocolate. Feed it Hershey. Never give okay. your kid a gun because they could drop the gun on the floor. The dog could eat the gun. Oh, yeah, that's right. right. <laughs> dogs love to eat guns. Um, also, uh, <laughs> uh, shout out to Delight Tingle Plays for gifting some subs. And Ginny Pawful. All right. Last one in. In the family reunion round, um, you catch your cousins making out. Mm. You catch your cousins making out. You're not doing it. You just see it happen, mm -hmm. and you're dealing with it. How are you dealing with it? Travis, we're going to start with you on this one. Well, I, I walk in, and there they are making out, and I'm like, oh, oh, oh kids, don't stop on account of me, and I'll start to <laughs> teach them uh, the great lessons of Franklin Delano Roosevelt and his cousin Eleanor Roosevelt right. and how they went on to become the power couple of the 20th <laughs> century, wow. and that is what I'm going to teach my cousins. I'm going to say, keep it up, but I'm going to stand right here and watch till I shit myself. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen Gone with the Wind? And he's like, I can't marry you. i got to be with my cousin because we're blood and we get each other. 
other. <laughs> it, it, a different time. It's a wonder how they lost that war. Yeah. Well, the, um, <laughs> yeah. Right, so, uh, Natalie, uh, you catch your cousins making out. How are you dealing with it? 20 seconds or less. <sighs> well, I, I healed the Sawyer family. So that house is empty. I'm going to take my cousins there, let them go through the journey mm. that will make them better people. Ultimately, for like three generations forward, it's going to be awful for a while because they're going to crossbreed and it's going to mm. be genetics all over the place. It's a mess. Nice. But that's their journey. Right. So that's what I'm going to do for the for the earth. Love it. Yeah. Uh-huh. For the earth. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. We all need a soy. You know, that the family has to be there. Right. It's it's like a balance thing. Mm-hmm. I can't ex- it's science, I'm sorry. <laughs> right. yeah. Crossbreeding is also when a priest fucks a nun. Oh you catch your cousins <laughs> making out you catch your cousins making out twenty seconds or less. Um I am the black sheep of the family. I live in Los Angeles, I do entertainment. So obviously, you know, a lot of blame comes on to me. So if I catch my cousins making out, I'm going to keep that in my back pocket. And the next time somebody's like, Amber, I can't believe you live in godless Hollywood. I'll be like, Jeff and Sarah were making out. In the <laughs> and then the com- it comes off of me onto them. Right. <laughs> Thank you. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh, these were some wonderful answers. I never thought of such a great thing. Uh, MJ, uh, where, where you got three points to give them out. <gasps> where are they going? Amber, these are for you. Thank you. Mm. Thank keep you. Keep it in the pocket. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. Mm-hmm. All right. All right. Micah, where are you going? Yeah, I got to go with Travis on this one. Um, I, uh, kissing cousins are a thing, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. It happens all the time. Mm-hmm. No big deal, Ugh. right? But I love that you <laughs> went with no FDR and Eleanor. Because right. I was imagining, like, maybe a 15 and 16 year old making out, but I love the idea the of walking in <laughs> the on your septuagenarian. <laughs> Cousins <laughs> and they turn to you and they're like, yeah. it's okay, Franklin and Eleanor. <laughs> yeah, right. You're like, oh, Jeez. okay. Mm-hmm. Wait, were they first cousins? Uh, so, uh, they were cousins. There was, it was a lot of layers. I think third is whenever the genetics aren't as much of an right. issue. Oh. Wow, sounds like we got some cousin kissing. I know, I know that. Yeah. 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 Very upsetting. It's fine when they're I also third feel like past 70, you could get away with anything. Like, kiss your cousin, do some drugs, rob a bank. Mm-hmm. I don't care. Get it, Grandma. Yeah, no, do it. Yeah. Well, yeah no prison after 70. I no like that. No prison after 70. Yeah, I mean, no, no, there's some, there's some children touchers off over 70. Oh, well, they're just hitting the head with a hammer. Yeah. The okay, uh, that's fine. Yeah. There's a good rule of thumb. Uh, if you meet somebody through family, you probably shouldn't make out with them. Yeah. yeah. Oh, Ooh, no. I like that. I Did like you know that. in Iceland they have an app to uh, check to see if you are closely related when you meet somebody at a bar? Oh, I'm yeah. not, there's oh, very few wonderful. people there. That's yeah, it's yeah, a small it's island. It's got to yeah. come up a yeah. lot for them. It comes up a lot. Yeah. Wow. That's wow. wise. Mm-hmm. Oh. That's why they're all elves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that is the. Let's talk about a brighter side. End <laughs> oh, of our out. second round. Thank you Good so round. much. That was a great round. That was a family reunion themed. Uh, struggling with our points here, we got uh, Natalie with three points. Mm-hmm. Travis with six oh. and Amber in the lead <gasps> with uh, what's that? That is ten points. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Ten points Woo. for little old me. Yeah. Take that, mom and dad. <laughs> wow. <laughs> all right, we're gonna be. Uh, is that math right? Wait, no, yeah, no. I don't I, think that math is right at yeah, all. Yeah, it's three oh. points per answer. It's probably, yeah, nine. yeah, nine it's points. Niner. You have nine points. Like well, nine can we? Okay, all right. I guess <laughs> take it away. <laughs> yeah, it's nine points. Okay, you're right. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Are you counting the? Well, who cares? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hoopa goo. <laughs> who cares? Um, all right. This is the third round, and we're going five points each. In this <laughs> okay. round. Five if points I lose, each in the so last, mad. and this is a funeral themed round. Ooh. All right, it's a funeral themed round. Uh, all right. Uh, who wants to go first? I haven't gone first yet. All right, I'll Travis go is going to go first on this next round. Are is everyone ready? Judges, you feel good? Funerals. Feeling oh, great. Yeah. You feel yeah. great. Let's great. put the fun back in funeral. That's right. right. All right. Your sibling, your brother or sister brings a prostitute to your grandma's Sex funeral. Work. Your hmm. brother or sister brings a prostitute as their date to your grandma's funeral. Travis, 20 seconds or less, please. Oh, this is a a great problem. I wouldn't even call it a problem. It's a solution to what is otherwise a very sad day for everybody. But thanks to this prostitute that my brother and or sister brings, a.k.a. sex worker, (laughs) thank you, PC, we will pass that sex worker around all night, all day. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, wow. Everyone gets laid, and that Objection. is the greatest. That, and then we're back to the family reunion again. And then I shit myself at this oh, funeral. Boy. Someone's and going I say, back Look, in the kids, spider your cousins. It's all right. <laughs> also, the, the sex hut. worker is Abolish my cousin. Prison, as well. but keep the spider oh, yeah. hut. Wow. Absolutely. And then someone puts raisins in the chicken salad. Oh, the no. raisins in your grandma. Oh, not again. All right, Natalie. 
Your brother or Follow sister. Follow that, Natalie. <laughs> brings a prostitute to your grandma's funeral. Sex worker. 20 seconds or less. Um, I think that it's great for a sex worker to be there. That makes people happy. I think there should be more sex workers at funerals, and probably people wouldn't be as sad, and they do important work. Holler. I'm thankful for them and mm -hmm. all they do. Travis. Can't wow. just I'm very them. grateful for what um, they did for my family. And as long as they have one to do, if they want to have sex with your entire family consensually, that's fine. Yeah. No, we're, we're paying good money. All right. Wow, that's well, a lot. All right. That's mm -hmm. a lot. That's a good answer. It's a good answer. Good. Sex worker is the it's proper the term. <laughs> um, note Sorry, for Eddie. self here. Yeah. <laughs> note for Eddie. So do <laughs> not call <laughs> <laughs> sex workers <laughs> prostitutes. <laughs> Very good. Sorry, sex worker. <laughs> okay. All the whole right. family. Amber. Yeah. The whole family. Your wow. sibling brings a sex worker you. to your grandma's funeral. Your sibling brings a sex worker to your grandma's funeral, what do we got? Um, so, you know, my grandmother was this very pious religious woman. She never wore makeup. She wore, always covered her hair, always in some kind of moo moo, covered every inch of her skin. But in, at her funeral, the makeup designer put blue eyeshadow and red lips on her. Like she was sucking Harlot. dick under a bridge. <laughs> <laughs> and so I think if the like sex worker, sex worker <laughs> showed up, then it would be like, hi, hello, we get along together. I think your spirit would have an easier time passing over. <laughs> That was great. I'll let you go a little longer because it was a great story. Thank you. Um, all right. Micah, five points. Where are they going? Yeah, I got to go with Natalie. It's, uh, there's nothing wrong with it. Mm -hmm. It would be a very nice time. Uh, it improves uh, morale. Morale, absolutely. People have a lot to talk about, right? We've never oh, met yeah. this person. Yep. It's a job. Everybody it's an gets introduced. Job. And, uh, you know, I don't know if you reveal that it that that this person is a sex worker, but if you do... It's a lot to talk about at the funeral. Mm -hmm. yeah. Good times. Yeah. Yeah. MJ, and you're picking Travis, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, uh, <laughs> the horn means she likes it. <laughs> I like that you said the whole family is going to pay them, Travis, so that is nice. But it's my nice. points are going to be going to Natalie as well. Destigmatize and um, celebrate. You know, it's a job. You're oh. going to have a great time talking about work. Mm -hmm. Not traffic sex workers, but... Happy to be their sex workers. Yeah, uh, sex workers that show up on time and don't get stuck in traffic. Exactly, Absolutely. that's what I think. <laughs> we do not like traffic here at the LPN Network. All right, going to our next one. Um, great round for Natalie. Good job. Um, we yeah, got, uh, got all of uh, you. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Natalie, you'll be going first this time. Okay. Um, at the reception, the catering is done by Arby's. At the reception, the catering mm. is done by Arby's. This is after a funeral. Mm. Okay. Oh, it's after a funeral. Yes, it's a funeral theme. Very I'll funerally, start off. funerally connected Arby dinner. Yeah. Um, well, everyone is going to shit themselves, so we're going back to that. Mm -hmm. uh, you bond with the family. You, f you poop yourself. Everybody laughs, mm -hmm. I think, right? Yeah. Probably. Travis, yeah. Absolutely, it happens yeah. every year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you, you, you bring some levity to the, the situation, and, uh, you know, if somebody's a bad, f a shitty person in your family, then you uh, get to humiliate them. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Amber, you're at, th at the reception. It's catered by Arby's. It's after the funeral. You're so hungry. You're in the sun watching this body go on the ground. All right. What is <laughs> the brighter side? Let's hear it. You know what? When my dad died, there was no food. So I'm going to be happy for Arby's. And also, I don't mind Arby's. I curly fries? Mm. I love it. I love ate it one fry. in Hollywood, and a homeless guy ran in there and touched all the sandwiches. And yes, I ate all of it's it. It's fine. And I, you know, I'll get to say that story at the funeral, and Listen, everyone's going to laugh. I worked at Burger King. A lot of people's hands touch those yeah. food. It, and you're fine most of the time. It's all good. Mm -hmm. I would love to have an Arby's sandwich. Mm -hmm. All respectable answers. All respectable answers. Mm -hmm. MJ, you got five points to give out. Where are they going? Did oh, everybody oh. answer already? Am I allowed to answer? Oh, you haven't answered yet? I haven't answered yet. I'm you're sorry. probably going to say some shit about <laughs> passing a prostitute around. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And, and then chicken and salad with raisins. All right, shit Travis. Shit myself. <laughs> very sorry. You're at, after, at the reception, after the funeral. The yes. catering is done by Arby's. Yes. Brighter side, 20 seconds or less. Absolutely. Look, there's no better way to celebrate putting dead meat into the ground than to eat dead meat with your family. Wow. And I agree with the curly fries assessment, but don't forget the horsey sauce. That's where your money is made. That's where your bread is buttered. And me and my family love the horsey sauce. We even like to throw it around at each other, have a big horsey sauce fight, and next thing you know, we're all fucking and sucking Ew. and shitting ourselves. Ew. Oh, my God. <laughs> Talk about the Roosevelt. Is that horseradish and ketchup? It, yeah. 
pretty much. <laughs> so, All Travis, right. let me pencil ask. nubs, uh, oh. how you doing? Thank you for subbing. I love you very <laughs> much. Thanks, pencil nubs. You were calling me and Mike the pencil, pencil nubs. What do you got? All right, pencil nubs. I have a question for Travis. So such a great derogatory. What you up to, pencil nubs? What do you got going there, pencil nubs? So Travis, if your dad had sex with a sex worker and then came inside of them, and then you would you feel a moral dilemma if you put your penis in your father's cum? No, not at all. Because that is when we bring in the horses and we let the horses fuck all the women in the family, and then when they come, that's authentic horsey sauce. Almost governor, eighty thousand votes. Eighty thousand votes, folks. Stadium full of people. So that'd be a good governor. I did not know that you got 80,000 votes. That's quite that a lot of people. That's a lot of people. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All right. That's Judges, who wants to go first? Uh, we're called Pencil Nubs. Pencil Nubs, <laughs> please. Yeah, please. Um, MJ, where are you giving your five? I unfortunately got to say I'm giving it to Travis for the phrase dead meat in the ground at okay. a funeral <laughs> because I just hope go. that that phrase can echo around in people's heads next time they're at a funeral and bring them some levity. Right. And then when they go to the buffet and they see any meat, they can think dead meat in the ground. Dead or any time they pass an Arby's, they're <laughs> thinking about <laughs> yeah. dead, dead meat. Yeah. Or any time you're embarrassed. You're like, I'm so embarrassed. I had toilet paper on my shoe. You're going to be dead meat in the ground. ground. Dead yes. meat in the ground. you be dead meat in the ground. Yep. Absolutely. So it goes to Thank T.I. Thank you. Um, Mayo Sommelier for for gifting us up. Mayo Sommelier. Um, <laughs> what happened to pencil nubs? <laughs> and pencil nubs. Nub. Pencil nub number two. And pencil nubs. <laughs> where Thank are you. Uh, where What does our life become? Mayo <laughs> <laughs> Sommelier. Pretty cool. Pencil I'll be pencil cool. nubs. Thank All you, pencil right. nubs. I'm playing for you. I'm not playing. I'm judging. Mm-hmm. Uh, where, where, where are you going? Here? Yeah, Where's I got to go with Amber. Yes. yes. Oh. Be grateful you got some food. Yes, yeah. thank you. And also, Arby's is good. It's pretty good. Whoa. I've voluntarily eaten at Arby's and paid for it. Whoa. Yeah. The, the onions See, on, the, on the bread? Thank you very much. Yeah. Yep. And I'm Uncle Ron subbed. Hey, what's up, Ron? Yeah. I, hey, Ron. Oh, but yeah, that, that you is where your buns are horsey. What's your Arby's on the order, Coast? Micah? Um, Did you have racks? Cal- yeah, in, uh, oh, Ohio? The, one of the last racks in the country is in uh, Chillicothe, Ohio. They still got a rack? Oh, and a Lancaster. We got two racks in Ohio still. Damn. Yeah, absolutely. R-A-X? R-A-X. R-A-X. I think absolutely. I've eaten there on a, a road trip before. I've requested for Tirzo the Clown. Is Tirzo the Clown around? Calling um, all Tirzo. Tirzo, thank you, Tirzo. I appreciate it. Wonderful. It's good to see you. Thank you very much. Oh, we got a full list of... Uh, but also, Tirzo, if you wouldn't mind, um, I would like to show our contestants what they may win. Uh, could you go get the giant um, uh, ham out of the uh, fridge? Oh. Thank you very much. Oh, we're playing for giant um, ham. Yes. Yeah, we're playing for a giant ham. We're playing for a giant Barry ham. The lead. Popsicle swag. Shout out to you, Jabroni Johnson. Here we go. Thank you very much. Glue! Oops, I love you very much. Loops, Pizza loops. Smoke. Uh, Gerbil Johnson, 19. How you doing? Thank you for the sub. Uh, Captain's Whoa. Kids. Ooh, that sounds scary. Oh, and here's the ham. Wow. Do you folks know Look what's going ham. on? Ham. Look at it. Ham. 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 Let's get some ham. Tearsos in the chat. Oh, yeah. Blowing up. Lots of tearsos. Lots of hams. You say it to your parents at home. It's all for the ham, baby. H-A-M. We love it. Okay. Don't Can we take out of the plastic wrap? I oh can't God. believe it. No, there's a lot the of juice. Smell. There's a lot of juice in this hand. Okay, okay, okay. And if we take it out of the juice. plastic wrap, you never know where the juice is going to go. It's already yeah. cooked. Like, can I dig it with, yes, it with my can, hands? Yes, you can eat this oh. ham immediately. I wow. wish you'd eat it immediately. Whoever wins. Yes, it is. A, well, <laughs> Natalie doesn't eat ham. I'm going to throw this. Yes, you can throw it. Actually, we... <laughs> Uh, we did a great ham throwing contest earlier. Um, it wasn't a contest. It was more of just a display <laughs> of uh, with me Damn. and the wonderful Dane ham on your grow. We are um, over here shitting on Arby's. Meanwhile, we are giving away a large ham, and there's two bags of sliced ham in the fridge. And a, and a, it's and a ham heavy day. It's a ham heavy day. Tirzo, if you're still available, Tirzo, um, could you grab the little um, package of ham with the the it's the you know which one I'm talking about, right? Why are you bringing not the, the slices, ham? not the slices. This will go to the our second prize winner. Okay. We'll get this because I I, wa- I really want to take this to the um to the final to the final round. That here. ham that right. the ham there has a sticker that says uh, no eating on it. Is that yeah. because it's a Why prize it for that? these folks? That or makes it really very delicious. Should not be eaten. Oh, we'll we'll see, no one else can eat it. But the no, thank you very much. Tirzo doesn't know what to Tears do. Tirzo, oh, don't worry about it. There's a there's a there's a little there's a thing of. Ham chunks. Ooh. Yeah, in 
the in the fridge. Is not the ham. 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 Neither ham. of the bags of sliced it. ham. It's a different bag of ham. Yeah, there's uh, a lot of ham. Gerald Man ham. Dream, thank you very much. Camstar VR, uh, Ram DG Milk Steak 93. I Ooh, fucking love, love you. Steak. Cats is Kairu. Her very hoodness, missing. chaotic neutral. And yes, this is for our runner-up. Wow. Um, this Ooh. is a package of diced ham. Ooh. Diced ham. Yeah, so you, can, ham you can just yeah, you can eat them. You can throw them in the air and try to catch as many as you can in your mouth. It's a great time. You can feed it to birds and make them sick. Yeah. You can do all kinds of things. It's so great that we've got it out at room temperature now. So. Yes. Yeah. All right. Well, there, well it's so much we're salt. almost over. At the end of round three here. Warm wow. ham. Warm right. up that uh, Guys, we're trying to get Hot those ham. subs. Let's get those subs up. Our, our, our next goal is for 1,666. I bet Woo. we can do it very soon. Here we go. Um, yep, all right. Win. Coming up. I'm going to move it around. And all right. Um, who's going? Who's, Should uh, I go first? You go first this okay. round, Amber. Are you ready? Yeah. 20 seconds or less. All nude open casket. All nude open casket. Oh, hell Love yeah. it. Um, it, it's both of them are open. They're not covering the pants. We're seeing we're seeing dicks. We're seeing vaginas. Wow. All right. Um, how many people are in yeah, this? How many casket? dead people? Are well, well, I'm just saying. I don't know who's in the casket. I'm okay, just saying. Right. You know, we're seeing it. You know, we're going. Yeah. You know, and, and, and I and I think your bush hairs keep growing. After you die, right. yeah, that's, that's, that's a fact. Yeah. That's you get a boner too. Yeah, you never. Oh yeah, oh, rigor mortis. Yeah, yeah. 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 Very, All right, very Amber. Uh, Twenty seconds or less. All nude, full casket. Wow. You know, I saw my dad's penis one time when I was a little girl, Same. accidentally, mm -hmm. and it was big and gray. Mm. And I would like gray. to see. It was gray. And I'd like to was see. He maybe dead already? After he, he was an older he was man. He was still alive. He's much older. He's fifty when he had the me. The penis was gray. The penis was gray. Jesus. Big and gray. That happens at fifty. So when he's dead, is it still gray? It was, it was like 60 or 65. Is it still gray? Yeah. yeah. So you'd want to know. I'm I sorry. I, I totally ate into her time. Oh, that's fine. <laughs> I, I could not get did. over I this. Sorry, the, the gray penis. The was there a rubber band around it? What? Is, why no. was it gray? I think your penis turns end? gray no, when you get older. No, it doesn't. Older. Yes, it does, no guys. reason a penis should be gray. gray. Is, yeah. If anybody is You'll in see. the chat who's over 50, weigh in. Is yeah, weigh in. Is your penis gray? Has anybody I'm ever seen a gray penis? Have you seen a penis for yourself, Steve? Is, is, is it gray? Travis, yeah. <laughs> all nude, open casket, 20 seconds or less. Oh, baby. Eddie, it's like you used to watch my stand-up when I was in college in Ohio because I actually had a bit about how I wanted to be buried Naked, open casket, but the top's closed and the bottom's open. It would just be me and my naked dangling right there for all my family and friends. So you have read into my past, and you are foretelling my future. This is what I'm going to do for my funeral. Wow. Thank you so all much. Right. Would Thanks it be Travis. funny if you like put a gunshot to your dick? <laughs> <laughs> what? That would be funny. That would be really That's funny, really Amber. Funny. <laughs> Tell us more about these great dicks you've seen. Hundred subs, everybody! Ham, 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 ham. No one remembers what Amber did. When we get 100 subs, I will take my dad out. All right, bring it back in. I'll kiss his face. Shot your penis with a gun. All right, here we go. Um, no, it's all thank bones. you very much, Travis. That I don't was think wonderful. A bone in there, though, Natalie, <laughs> all nude, open casket. Let's hear it. I don't want the ham. I don't want the ham. <laughs> you're gonna throw the game. I think you're you're a predator for wanting to see a nude person's a dead person's nude body, and I'm you very me? yeah. I don't know. I'm, I, I just I'm just killing the 20 seconds because I don't want that ham. You oh, don't yeah. want the ham. Want She's throwing the game because you don't want the ham. <laughs> well, you should have played the game then. <laughs> All right, you angered your husband. You, <laughs> husband. you angered your husband. All nude. Uh, everyone has answered. Uh, Micah, five points. Where you giving them? Um, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember what just happened. That's fine. Uh, so I'm gonna give it to Natalie because she doesn't want the ham. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Ham, it's ham, 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 ham. ham. Yeah, throw those Damn. hams in the chat, folks. Thank you very much. Um, MJ, five points. Where are you giving them? I mean, I got to give it to Amber. I had not one problem with anything she said. Thank for that you. Answer. I saw my father's penis when I was young. Great start. It yep. was gray. Mm -hmm. <laughs> great. <laughs> great. It was twist. Big great great My yeah, father great had a large <laughs> penis. Thank you very that, much. See, it's, yeah, this that's was a great capper. Did you know that answer? That if disgusting. it was big or small? I don't know. I heard someone groan in the corner. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you you're not sorry you're, at all. Who gives a shit? I'm not sorry. I thought you were saying that. <laughs> when you saw the penis, you heard someone groan in the, in the corner. <laughs> it's like, Dad, it's uh, a family reunion. Uh, what are you doing? 
<laughs> Amber's uh, dad took his dick out again. Right, yeah. he made ants on a log with it. Yeah. <laughs> My, yeah. He put in the chicken salad. Yeah, raisins, yeah, the chicken salad. All right, that is the end of the third round. Here is our point total for the game, and our two highest contestants will stay and duke it out in the final round. All right, Natalie, um, I believe uh, you are number two here with 18 points. Amber, you are leading the way with 19 points. What? And Travis, I'm sorry, 11 points. Back to the spider hut. All right. Oh, I'll see you all in the spider hut, everybody. Oh, we'll make some omelets with all those right. spider eggs. Yeah, I love friend. my spider eggs. Everyone say goodbye to Travis. Goodbye, goodbye everybody. Travis. I thought you had some great Back answers. to the spider hut. Really good Great plan. job, buddy. Yeah, you had really some great good. answers there, buddy. Go sit in the spider hut. I don't want to hear about his family okay. having sex anymore. So here we go. Sudden death. Sudden death. Winner take all. Okay. All right. Here's how we go. We're going to judge here. And if they both pick the same person, we're going to leave it up to chat. Are you ready? And I will monitor chat myself and make the judgmental decision if it comes down to that. But I got okay. a feeling uh, it's going to be a, a clear case here. We'll see what happens. 20 seconds or less. Um, this is this is a Starbucks themed. Uh, Starbucks themed. Are you ready? Okay. Who wants to go first? I'll go first. Amber's going to go first. All right. You're on a large Starbucks run for work. The cashier can't hear. They're deaf. And the person behind you has frantic squirrels covering them. <laughs> go. The brighter side of all of that, um, I would, you know what? S kill some squirrels, and um, I would learn sign language very quickly, and I would write it down. You know, I think I would, like, because squirrels are taking over <laughs> Los Angeles, and if we can just shoot five of them in the head, we can save a nest of squirrels from being born. And um, yeah, yeah, great, very nice, very nice, great. very nice. Yes, kill the squirrels, down with squirrels, really up them. with rats. Here at the brighter side and Hoopagoo game, Natalie, you are on a large Starbucks run for work. You know, we, uh -huh. we 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 sent you out. You're going there. You're getting it for everyone it's out of the kindness of your own heart. But you get there. The cashier can't hear. Uh -huh. And then the person behind you has four frantic squirrels running all over their body. What's the brighter side? 20 seconds or less. I, it's not clear to me how those things are connected. Is, this, is the cashier not looking? It's just <laughs> chaos. Say the brighter side yeah. is the cashier can see. Yeah. yeah. I'm not sure. Uh, I, I guess. Um, I mean, I can. I'm a, I speak to animals. You know, I'm like a, an animal whisperer. I can just them all on my arm like this oh. and i'm teaching them little tricks and everybody at starbucks is really excited about it you're the opposite i kind of want to take back my answer of kill the squirrels but i can't you can't that was your Sorry. answer you know is you live your life you learn you never no know the judges might love it um speaking know. of which micah where are you sent where, where are you sending who who had a better answer for you no points no points just who, who better answer straight up yeah, I, I absolutely adored Amber's answer. It was free-flowing. It was freewheeling. Lots of ideas were presented, yeah. and many of them really hit home for me. Yeah. Um, mm. the, the Shooting in a Starbucks, fun, fun, fun. I live in America. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> learning sign language on the fly and then scrapping that for writing something down. Yep. Really liked it. Really liked that. <laughs> Write out right. the hand gesture. Yeah. Oh, this means I love you, right? Yeah, or is it it's, this? It's, it's with the thumb out. It's the thumb, thumb out. out. Thumb I love out. you, yes. chat. Love you. I don't think that's actually sign language, though. I don't know. Uh, it's just international. It is because it's it's I, I love you. Oh, together. so it's all together. So, yeah. Oh, I all you. A shout out to Hard on Sun four twenty for your sub. Thank you very much. Um, all right, MJ, where where are you going? Hard on I, Sun. I I'm not doing this to make it interesting, but I am giving it to Natalie just for the <laughs> contrast of execute yeah. squirrels by shooting them in the head versus let them all line up on my little arm. Mm. Oh. I still don't understand the correlation between it. It's a just the situation person. that you're in. It's just oh, just a lot happening. Yeah, a lot happening. Most people would think that's a bad thing. Yeah, yeah, not yeah. here. All right. <laughs> yeah. The deaf right. cashier is also indifferent to the squirrels. That's yeah. the biggest. All right, person. chat, let's hear it. Who are you going for, Amber or Natalie? Starting now and ending in 10 seconds. Let's oh, go. God. Ready? How are you going to count them? I'm counting up. I got vibes. attacked by a bird the other day. Have you ever mm. been attacked by an animal that you why think you can fight? Why are the animals coming at you? I don't know. They heard what you said about them. That's, That's why. That's right. Have you been attacked by an animal? You're just like, what the fuck? All right, we have a winner, and it is Amber. Congratulations. Hey, Amber. You got Amber, everybody. Amber. 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 Amber
Hamburg. Here's your ham, Amber. Here you go. Throw the ham at her. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't worry, Henry. Natalie's not leaving empty-handed. Here are your ham oh, chunklets. Yeah. Enjoy those oh, very much. A couple of chunks. Oh, of ham my chunks. family's going to eat tonight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> True love here on the Hoopa Google game. Shout out to all of our guests, Travis Irvine, Amber Nelson, and Natalie Jean, and our judges, MJ Neffel and Micah Sherman. I've been Ed Stay Larson, safe. and you just got Hoopa Google. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa!